I got Jose! I did God, it! God, you did it right the fuck! God damn it, <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna cut that off in the uh, in the recorded version. Anyway. Hi, everyone! Guten <laughs> Tag. Oh, whoops, I, I forgot to bring the volume up, which is actually good, because right. Blaine Hallis screamed into the mic. I'm sorry. Um, welcome to the 29th episode of the Game Session Podcast. I'm your host, Jose, slash Seth Okage. This week, we are joined by Sarah, Mesa, Blaine. Hey! And Hi. we're also joined by, by special guest, our resident. Um, you know, I don't, I don't want to mess up the way I wrote this, so I'm just going to read it verbatim. Let's see, where is it? Da, 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 da. Where the heck did it go? Anyway, we're joined by CJ, our resident Halo novel enthusiast, Fire Emblem appreciator, and all-around lover of uh, BTS. How you doing, CJ? Jose, I asked you specifically not to mention that, but I'm going to be the model minority today and keep quiet and just <laughs> say hi. <laughs> <laughs> on, on this oh. podcast, you can be as loud of a white person you want, CJ. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they haven't kicked me off yet. Doesn't matter if your opinion's fucked up. Just scream it. It's all good. You'll get a pass. Yeah, I, I I love white people. They 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 gave me my freedoms after oppressing me. You gotta respect them. <laughs> you you ba- base you kind of owe them if you think about it. Exactly. Uh, you know what I'm saying? What can I do? <laughs> what can I do? Far Cry Six looks like you know it's, it's racist, but what can I? You know they that's how they see me. What can I do? I gotta change. <laughs> I'm a- <laughs> I'm a- <laughs> This is why I fucking love you. <laughs> anyway. Jesus Christ. Uh, Rick and Marol at the top of the show. Game Session Podcast is filmed live here on Sunday, 6.30 p.m. PST. You can find it later on podcast services and on YouTube as full episodes and individually cut up segments. I want to give a big shout out to my patrons, Ramen Nomad, Sly, Fourth Big Boss, and Bo. Uh, and shout out to Twitch subs Candy Unplugged, Ramen Nomad, King Cory Bear, Chai Bum, J Newbie 666, Aztec God, Nitro, Atma, I'm sorry, Atma, and uh, Lerv. Uh, thank you very much, everyone. So, this is going to be the big E3 show, and CJ is going to be here with all of the best opinions that I will have no qualms with whatsoever on any front. Well, that remains cool. to be seen. Yeah, yeah, basically. <laughs> uh, before we go in and jump into it, though, CJ. Who the fuck are you? For people who don't know who you are. Um, I hate talking about myself. I am a... Well, first, I'm a member of a over an official um, Super Deluxe Games cast at SDGC. Um, go go follow those guys. I love them. Uh, good collective of, uh, you know, progressive and, like, forward-thinking um, games people. Today, we just did a bunch of... They, we, they did a bunch of reactions to E3 stuff. I was on the uh, Microsoft one. And I had a good time. Uh, they live stream like a podcast every Thursday, and then they have other things. Check out my bio mutant review with them. I also write over at GameCritics.com. I have well over sixty reviews published in the last year. Um, and yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> that's I I I I, I kind of do it all, or I kind of have to. If you want, you can end that out with a dab. I'm not going to do a dab. I'm not going to do a dab. I can't. I can't move in the shirt. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, you are by far one of the hardest working people I know, and there's there's no fucking shadow of a doubt that something great is just going to be right around the corner for you. Hell yeah. Um, see, Ramen Nomad says, yes, model minorities rise up, Fire Emblem gank. <laughs> uh, CJ is a Halo lore enthusiast, first and foremost. Uh, also an amazing writer, but you know, he's got his priorities in place, I guess. <laughs> Um, let's see. So we're not going to be talking too much about what we've been playing. This is mostly the E3 show, and then we'll see where we go from there. Um, uh, so, so what, what, what we're basically going to do, we're going to go down the list in terms of like what, what stuff was announced from basically when Jeff Keighley's thing popped off to, um, to, to Microsoft's. I don't know if anyone watched a PC gaming show. It's kind of whatever. I did not. I did not either. PC gaming's for losers. Whoever owns a PC should just get a Mac. There you go. That that's your I that's mean, your real facts. PC. Big facts right here. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother! Come on, let's I play Portal. <laughs> let's so, go play Portal. So this this is primarily all in the, in order of when this stuff was announced. If I, if I happen to miss anything, feel free to go ahead and, and put it in there to bring it up. Um, we don't necessarily have to go off and talk about every little thing, only if it interests you. Because there's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of announcements, and we got two hours or so. Uh. Battlefield 2042, uh, it's, it's 
it's the new battlefield and it's and it's big it's got 128 people and it's not world war one or two so you actually get really cool shit in it so by default i'm pretty interested in it absolutely yeah, same and grappling hooks and and uh, wingsuits everything on, cause everything is better with grappling hooks by fucking default game of the year i remember yeah. playing 2040 2142 or whatever it was like way back in the day in high school with a friend he had a land set up and i don't know if we did bots or if we went online together but like this is probably the first time i've seen like a battlefield game and actually been like holy shit i actually really want to play this like since then just getting to play that on pc and realizing well my computer's not good enough so i'm never going to play this again Mm -hmm. but um yeah, I, 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 the last Battlefield I was really into was Battlefield 4, but even then it was kind of like, eh, whatever. Um, I think I'm definitely in like the right mind space to jump into it, get a get a crew of people, make, make some horrible plans with CJ as we're storming a building, he gets gunned down, and then I'm just kind of hiding in a corner, trying to survive. But, uh, yeah, they had some cool shit. They had, um, or I guess they technically showed this gameplay part at the Xbox showcase. We can kind of jump back and forth between if the same game was shown multiple times. But there's you're going between like buildings with um with zip lines across, mm-hmm. and then there there's a <laughs> they made they made fun of the um I, we don't have to go too big into it, but you know the whole discourse just like oh why is there a woman in Battlefield Five? That's unrealistic. Meanwhile, you have in this in this very trailer a dude jumping out of a plane, grabbing a rocket launcher, shooting down the plane, and then landing back in his before he takes off. <laughs> that was fantastic. <laughs> oh, you can't do that. Come on, Jose. I- it's I didn't see the height. <laughs> I didn't see the summer game. I, did, I didn't see like most of the summer game fest stuff. But like, I think one of my favorite things from the Xbox showcase trailer of it was when like they get they have to get they have to avoid a storm, so they go into an elevator and it takes them to the very t- the rooftop. And while they're on the rooftop, someone like I, I don't know if they jumped off the last second or if they just straight up like launched off with it but they rode them like a moped not a moped a um like, like an atv ATV. yeah an atv off the roof jumped off i guess the last second and they had c4 on it and mm-hmm. as it collided with uh an enemy plane or copter or whatever they just blew it up it was amazing i, oh, yes. I like, love that's something doing... i would do if i was yes. playing the game i love doing stupid shit like that i i can't fucking wait how many times playing like halo 4 or halo wherever they whenever they introduce the mongooses would you just literally jump off and let that like drop into people and try to blow it up as it came by them (laughs) um one slight note for it and it's just going to become more of a recurring thing as we move into the generation with games uh beginning to cost more money typically up to this point it's been sony first party uh some 2k sports games and um was the other one call of duty um yeah. I, th- I think it's a weird pricing model when so so the next gen ver- well quote unquote next gen versions of this game are going to be 70 dollars, but the pc version is still going to be 60 it's a bit of a weird yeah, dichotomy there that's just kind of transparently going like we are artificially trying to get you used to a new price because fuck you we say so basically and the, the no pc people are gonna make much more of a, a fit about it oh yeah the game's going to get pirated either way, but they know that that's just going to be even worse if they actually tried to raise it to that $10. Do you think if they pirate it, they get uh, Jack Sparrow DLC too? Oh, was there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no one ever blamed Go Silence. Either like, Jesus fucking Christ, Jose, or, or it's just uh, like, I'm because- holding... <laughs> Because what you could, because I understand you're making a reference to what we're talking about, but I'm like, well, an actual good pirate would be like the Dread Pirate Roberts. So why didn't you go with that? That's my criticism to you. Because I'm because I'm not a pirate nerd. Do you just say that, and I think of the Silk Road dude, which is terrible. Oh my! I, God. I, I'm based and only cite Disney characters, which is terrible. Yeah. Face and mouse build. <laughs> um, I, think, yeah, I, I, I talk about this a lot. Um. Maybe you follow me on Twitter. Oh, I, um, the last, the, the the first time I really got into a shooter was like, or like recently was like Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019. It made me miss like modern military shooters, and then seeing like the last two Battlefield games go back in time, you know, kind of disappointed me. Um, so th- this this is like a perfect evolution, especially now that I know that Sledgehammer is doing the next Call of Duty, so I'm probably not going to enjoy it as much as uh, I I would the other ones. Um, th- this is going to be my jam. This is probably where I'm going to spend most of my time in October. November, December, um, even next to Halo Infinite, like th- this is this is basically it. This is like my most anticipated game of 2021. I'm kind of surprised it's even happening, honestly. 
Like, I never would have thought, hey, we're going to do, like, a follow-up to this game that only PC players were able to play, like, 25 years ago. Or 20 years ago, however long it was. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, I guess it's not... We don't have to go super f far deep down this line of thought, but uh, no campaign. Yeah. Oh, Which, yeah. Battlefield... Means, as, I don't aside, care. Aside from, aside from Bad Company games, uh, Battlefield hasn't really had a good campaign. I so, the I, I don't give a shit. Battlefield one and five had 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 decent ones like they're better to look at than they were to play, um, but yeah, I don't I don't think Dice needs to make campaigns anymore. Uh, I I thought you meant the original Battlefield for a second. I was like, wait, didn't they like not have multiplayer? No, 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 no. Yeah, I'm talking about the World War One. <laughs> yeah, confusing, yeah, the confusing naming scheme. All right, we're yeah. Call this one Battlefield One, and then the next one Battlefield Five. I'd, I'd Battlefield rather than just original series one. <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd rather them just put like all their resources into. The thing that people actually give a shit about Battlefield 4 versus like something that's like at best okay. Yeah. Like it's weird. I'm in that same thing of like like Sarah, where it's like if there's no campaign, I'm not quite as interested because I always prefer a campaign. But at the same time, like y'all and others have said, like if that means they get to focus on the thing they're good at, if that means also if that's like what the fan base at its core wants, which from what I've literally every person I've seen that actually has played these games for years has said to me has been like, no, this is the best way. We don't want a campaign, honestly. We want mm -hmm. a, a better multiplayer setup. No. And I also, don't... oh, what's up, Sarah? Sorry. No, I was I was just gonna say I played Call of Duty for the campaign. I don't touch Battlefield because all I've heard is that their campaigns aren't very good. So yeah. Uh -huh. There's well, no, and like, like I like this like this looks cool, and I'm happy for those who play Battle Battlefield because like I gotta say the whole like tornado happening in the middle of like a giant 152 person game sounds like a lot of fun but like it's i go i call it i use call of duty for my dumb hoorah military shooter campaigns like i don't that and speaking of for other people and speaking of call of duty like i think i actually like the idea of like you know we're doing a far future thing so instead of having to do that whole like okay how can we quote unquote big air quotes tastefully but it's often never tastefully like re re reproduce like actual worldwide conflicts now or like you know do that thing where this is totally not military american military propaganda but it's totally american military propaganda instead this way you have your way, a way of doing like okay it's more modern and you get to have those sensibilities but it also doesn't feel like it's just outright propaganda yeah you get there's to a have fun there's, there's a disconnect some, here which is nice yeah there's still some like story stuff they're trying to do but it's like it's not going to be like a main like facing uh, forward facing narrative. But they got a little bit of a, in a, um, they got in the hot seat a little bit about saying like this is totally not political. And then they're using like refugees and like a world hell yeah uh, fucking they're climate control climate, thing. climate apocalypse yeah. map. Yeah. But there's no politics here. Hell oh, yeah. Politics. A anyway, <laughs> let's go ahead and jump to the to the most accessible series in the world. Um, <laughs> Elden Ring finally got a new trailer. Um, I just want to say at the beginning, I, I've said this for like a million freaking years. Um, Souls fans need to chill the fuck out for a lot of fucking reasons. But the most stupid fucking reason is we got Sekiro in March of 2019. So it, it has barely been over two years, but people are like freaking dying, freaking frothing at the mouth. Just yeah. like, why don't we have another Souls game? Just like, dude, you just got one. It's, it's cool. You can wait a minute. But yeah, I don't know. It looks cool. You're riding horses. You're you're fighting uh, big bad people. Uh, from a gameplay perspective, from what I could see, it seems like a bit more of a combination of uh, Bloodborne and uh, Sekiro's um, approach to combat versus like regular Souls, where you do where it seems like you have to be very aggressive. You can move very fast. You have the the dodging, the dashing from Bloodborne, where you can cross um, like great distances pretty quickly. Um, and then just like the, the just the, the speed at which you're attacking doesn't seem like Dark Souls. Like Dark Souls to me screams at least the way I play. I know people can do magic and whatnot. If you want to play it wrong, that's that's by you. Um, uh, but but Dark Souls is like yeah, you can dodge some attacks, you can roll a little bit, but then you also got a shield. Which they did have some segments where the per where uh for the gameplay the person was using a shield, but for the predominant amount of that footage they showed off, they were not using that. It it was more offensive driven and i'm actually pretty happy for that it almost seemed like a, a, a maybe not a new parry mechanic but i noticed there was like a grab wasn't there a good thing where they were like blocking a sword slash with their own sword or they were preparing to do something like that like it, I, it looked like it yeah. if, you like had just, if you had just showed me that and didn't say it was elder ring i would have just said it was dark souls 4 and i still don't care 
<laughs> yeah, that was that was my follow up. Is like, I mean, this game looks cool. It looks like I enjoy the Souls born genre games, even the ones that I have trouble playing. Um, I it like the horses. whole high fantasy thing. I like the weird arms. Yeah, yeah, I, like, I like the dragon summoning lightning, grabbing it, and then throwing it like that dumb shit. Like, that made me go like... <laughs> that, <laughs> cool. That's actually a thing but from like, Sekiro, so I'm actually happy to see that come back. I don't... It's it's just gonna be another Souls game, and I play the Souls games for charity, and I die seven times to make people laugh, and that's... <laughs> it's, I'm... It, the only thing that'll get me mildly interested is if they... And I know they're never gonna do it if they add difficulty options to it. And I know that's not going to happen, but and I I spoke about this in SDGC a, a couple of days ago. The only thing that has me mildly interested in this is the fact that it's not from software doing like the main outlining story to it. That George R. R. Martin did like the underlining stuff. I don't like how they do their storytelling hot take. I really don't. So I'm the only thing that has me interested is like Martin's half of it. Because it's going to be different, it's going to be more high fantasy than anything else. Um, but everything else, it's just another Souls game, and the monster designs are cool, and I like the little pot that has the little arms, he's just on his way to do his job. <laughs> I like that, but it's everything else, I'm just like, yeah, that's cool for the people who care. <laughs> like, so to, build off, to build off your story stuff, like, the entirety of those games to me is like, 99% gameplay and then that other 1% is wow that's a cool piece of lore I'm not going to piece all that together myself let's go to YouTube and watch some lore videos that yeah, are actually pretty dope one thing that from software to me because like gameplay wise their stuff's cool like they, they they do what they do and they do what they do well but like when it comes to story it almost feels like they want to stuff all of these like psychological elements in places where it doesn't really like where it kind of like jives with everything else. And I think Blood Bloodborne is a great example of this. Like I love the whole like me medieval dark fantasy stuff. Whoa. But like, oh, we lost oh, we nope. lost somebody. Lost Did we there lose someone? Is. CJ is, seems to be back though. There he is. But uh, it's just like I just think they're trying oops. to sh shove the story in. And, like, you, you don't need a story. You can just make hard sword acclaim game. Like, you can do, like, you can, you can do that. And, and it's great that it has a story. And, I yes, I, too, watch the YouTube lore videos because I'm bored. But, like, I'll watch YouTube lore, lore videos and go, I still don't get it. <laughs> CJ, do you ever find yourself looking at, like, the nutrition facts on the back of your cereal mm -hmm. box and go, like, damn, this fucking lore is fire, dude. Shit's, shit's yeah. so cool. Damn, them gun. Oh, that me. was over there. You told me that same joke yesterday, Jose. I know you didn't. I know. I know. <laughs> it's just, that. That was a private conversation. <laughs> it's cool for those who care. I just don't care. Like I'm happy for those who finally got to see it and they were super hyped about it. But I was just watching that whole thing, and honestly, my excitement came from just how genuinely excited Jeff Keighley was when he announced <laughs> it. That like yeah. it was all where all my excitement came from, which is how generally happy and excited he was. All right. Oh, that, uh, like I got one last thing to add. Yeah. Um, I, I I don't want to start a whole new discussion with this. I think it's <laughs> funny that people keep saying like, "No, you don't understand." Like, we are all hyped about this because like it's the first fully open world one, and we haven't had like an open world experience. It's like Dark Souls one, and like I'm gonna be real. A lot of you motherfuckers have somehow convinced yourselves that Dark Souls one is way bigger and way more like advanced design wise than it actually is. That game has, like, four different checkpoints you have to meet that you cannot bypass no matter what. Mm -hmm. And you, while you can, you can choose to go in any direction you want, there is literally no point to aside from unless you're just trying to get items early. The only thing you can yeah. really do is if you have a key or if you kill a certain character early enough. Like, those are the only things you can really skip ahead to. But even then, that just gets you further in one area. You still have to go back and bring the bells and go with the Lord Vessel and place the Lord Vessel or place it two, four mm -hmm. hours later. Whatever. And, and even then, and even then, it's just like you're you're like in an open area. Then you go down a corridor to get to another area, which you go down a corridor to get to another area. It's, it's yeah. not like open in the sense if you think for something like a GTA or Red Dead, it's it's, it's not the same thing. No, literally. But um, that's that's my hot take of the of the tip of the night, I guess. Uh, one more right. really fast thing okay. that this game is running on the same engine that did Demon Souls. It doesn't look good. 
<laughs> like graphic uh, it's okay. I don't know. I don't fine. know if that's necessarily fair for something that's still in active development. I'm gonna. I, I, I know, my thoughts but on it. Just, it to me, it's just so more the fact it's running on the same engine. I feel like they, like, I'm, I'm not saying they should have moved to like Unreal Four because that's not like if they want to stay in their own engine, that's that's totally cool. I just. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm designing it with cross gen in mind. So like, this is yeah. this is that thing of like, are you gonna stop your development and completely switch over to new stuff that's only gonna be available in the next generation, or mm. are you gonna keep working with what you got and try to make it work as well? That's as why you I'm can. interested to see what the next gen version of it looks like since uh -huh. since they confirmed that it's getting a next gen patch. If I'm if, if, we're, what... if we're lucky, it'll run into like a solid 24 frames. That'll be dope. Um, exactly. <laughs> okay. All right. We gotta speed through yeah, some of these sorry. smaller ones. It's all good. Uh, Tiny Tino's Wonder World, a uh, Wonderlands. I'm sorry, don't want I to get it. Con watch that trailer. I, I, oh, I, I, I don't no, want to mention Bell and Wonder World. I, 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 yes, yes. I, I don't want to confuse it <laughs> with with the uh, with, with the artistic integrity of Bell and Wonder World. Bell and Wonder World. Game of the year, integrity. 2021. Let's go. Hell yeah. Game of the uh, soul. Honestly, it's already fourteen dollars. Don't bring it up. All right. Uh, any, anyway. Uh, oh, whoops. I think I saw my Xbox on the background. Uh. So yeah, Gearbox announced that it's a standalone entry in the Borderlands series, uh, starring uh, Tiny Tina, a character that got introduced with Borderlands 2. Uh, it's a high fantasy take on the series that's reminiscent of Borderlands 2's DLC. It was kind of like a side little thing where it's like their in-universe version of Dungeons & Dragons. She's kind of like changing the rules on the fly. It was actually... Oh, I'll, I'll go into this segue after the fact. Um, but yeah, they're, they're specific in saying that it's not a spinoff. It's its own thing. I don't know how much they want to play but, the semantics game when that's like almost the definition of what it is. Was, yeah. Uh, it's in a spinoff its own thing. Like, what's Ra that Randy mean? needs to lay off the, uh, the sniffy sniffy. Uh, <laughs> okay. Okay. Little, little sidetrack. I think Borderlands 2 is still, f is, is Border, was Borderlands never funny and, I just got older, or is Borderlands Two just Borderlands written well, and Borderlands Three was was dumb? Funny. I found oh. more of the jokes from Borderlands Three from Borderlands Three came from the uh, Vault Hunter dialogue because I remember Zane had some lines that literally had me rolling with just the way that his voice actor like delivered them. That's personally to me where the most comedy came from. But hey, Blaine, to go back to an earlier point <laughs> from uh, before the show, here fucking. There. Zoomers, am I right? Oh my goodness, don't drag me into your weird whatever. <laughs> uh, but yeah, any, any thoughts on Tiny Tina's Wonderlands, not Wonder World? It's more Borderlands. Um, I'm going to call it. Wanda Sykes is in it. That's cool. I have Wait, not is? even looked into it because I just don't really care. I'm sorry. I, 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 only, I only want to see how Wanda Sykes is in it. That's all I care about. She's this might be a dumb question. Who the fuck is Wanda Sykes? Right, She's a comedian. Yeah. Okay. Jose. Like a well-known comedian. For shame. Stop reading Halo novels, Jose. I'm, I'm, too, I'm, I'm too busy uh, watching fucking Jeff Dunham stand up and, and distill my entire culture into a jalapeno on a stick. My bad, guys. Watch Kirby uh, Enthusiasm, Jose. Come on. Come on. <laughs> I mean, um, seriously though, watch Kirby Enthusiasm. Yeah, watch Kirby no, Enthusiasm. I, I, I shall try. I, I'll say I'll do it, but I won't. Um, watch yeah. Kirby White <laughs> yeah, people are awful. That's the plot of every yeah. episode. It's amazing. Oh, okay. Now I'm watching it. Hell yeah. Yeah, bro. It's literally it stars like the worst white person in the world. Mm. You know what I'm it, it's it's literally all about watching. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. T uh, Tiny Tina's Wonderland seems okay. I'll probably buy it if it's on sale or something. If it goes on Game Pass at some point, I'll play it. Hell yeah. Um, Death Stranding Director's Cut. Uh, Kojima announced Death Stranding Director's Cut, an upgraded PS5 version of the base game that's slated to come soon. Uh, looks like it has 60 FPS and might have additional content. Uh, it also has a little tease at uh, Metal Gear with uh, Norman Reedus cut. going in the box and whatnot. They, uh, they also confirmed that it's going to totally use haptic triggers and haptic vi vibrations on the PS5 controller. And someone else confirmed that it's totally going to have the whole, like, the, like, walking vibration is different depending on where yes. you're walking at. And my dumbass is so hyped! Oh, <laughs> it's like, yeah. I can't wait to walk in 60 FPS. Shit's gonna be so dope. Can't uh, wait to, like, just, kiss I, with the haptic feedback. Like, that's what I'm excited for. Oh, uh, you, know you, you know that that's gonna be there, too. The, the pissing, like, in real Kojima's time. not gonna let you not have that. <laughs> 
<laughs> just I'm I'm I've been wanting an excuse to go back and play and, and I'll play that game and just knowing it's actually getting that port, I'm like they from, from what I heard, the uh the PC port's actually pretty damn good. Also. Yeah, it also has one of the hardest difficulties, so I wouldn't be surprised if they include that in the director's cut as well, because that's not on the PlayStation version, I don't think. CJ, do you think case for DLSS? CJ, do you think <laughs> do you think someone unironically has a shrine to Kojima in their house? Yes, duh. Absolutely. Almost all of tw- almost all of games Twitter does. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> he, he, there's my baby. <laughs> You're creepy, literally. literally. Wait, is that a BB? That's yes. a BB. I wanted oh. one. Oh my god. Go to Sarah's house and steal it. Oh, no, no. Steal it. Here he is. It, it is very it is creepy. BB. He's very creepy. It's just a bottle. Oh, that's adorable. I like that it's to scale, honestly. Oh, oh my yeah. god. It like it like it even has the little like uh no, that's to some pro choice uh, person it. to ask him what they can like. <laughs> Here you um, go. Oh, an- anyway, he's also um, a Oh my god. He's right. a we know we we we, yes, we believe yes, you. Yes. Yes. Uh, Jeff Goldblum introduces Jeff Goldblum in Jurassic World Evolution 2. Um, uh, yeah. Jeff, I like seeing uh, Jeff Goldblum. Yeah. Uh, it seems like a sequel to a game that wasn't necessarily highly regarded, but we got to see Some Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> was that the one that was like Zoo Tycoon, but dinosaurs? Yes. It's made by the uh, Thrillville people, which I did not know until recently. Oh. It also apparently has sort of a third-person shooter mode if a dinosaur escapes, I guess. That's what Jaw was telling that's, me. Was I guess that's pretty neat. Mode? You can play as like a, a as like a trapper and like c- c- uh, and like catch them, I guess. Clever that's girl. the closest thing to Dino Crisis remake he's going to get. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. I feel so bad for him. Yeah. I'm getting uh, Psychonauts 2. I'm good. Oh yeah. <laughs> Woo! And it's coming out too. Rasputin. We shall get there. Uh, Among Us it showed off some funny. Love s- machine. <laughs> uh, it showed off some funny stuff in the trailer. Uh, bits of information, including uh, an official hide and seek mode. You don't have to do it for pretend in uh, Discord servers anymore. <laughs> um, I, I I think they they announced it like in the Xbox trailer that it's going to be up to fifteen players now, which yep. is going to be even more chaotic. Uh, there's new oh, roles, yeah. colors, a uh, literal couple pixels tease of the new map, and uh, yeah, other stuff coming. I haven't played Among Us in freaking forever, but I, I desire to do so. Did you play it here and there? Jeff, it's good. Your Jeff Keeley mask, though. <laughs> oh fuck! No, I never got that. I tried it. You and I were like trying to get it, and you did, and I couldn't get it to work, and was like, you know what? This isn't fucking worth it. Uh, yeah, they uh they re-released it, I think, for the weekend. Because the no fucker. one apparently could also get it, so they re-released it. Nobody told me. But Can we watch the Summer Games Fest? Jeff, Jeff. I didn't. <laughs> oh, I was okay. doing other stuff. Okay, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. Stop for Jeff. Come on. I was out at tag sales all day, and I had to look everything <laughs> up later. He's, you're making Jeff cry. Jeff, Jeff's a big boy. He's got a nice house. He can cry with his white people money. He also walks outside. Barefoot, which which I have many questions. I mean, that's damn. See, I was gonna say that's like a white person thing, though. California thing. That's not a white person. That's like yeah. that's a, a West Okay, West well, there West you West go. Thing. CJ's West not West. even from here, and he knows what's gone. Yeah, uh, he knows what's up. He doesn't even go here. Damn Canadians. <laughs> <laughs> they they drink milk out of bags. We don't need to take. They have advice. a picture for that, apparently. So yeah, I'm gonna learn about that. Like <laughs> we're getting too off topic again, Jose, and you did it yes. this time. Yes, I know. I, I I need to join the cool kids club once in a while. I can't leave the fun to everyone else. You're always in the cool kids club. Oh, thanks. You're one cool um, kid, Jose. Uh, can we talk about the sexiest moment in this entire fucking E3 week? Uh, Fall Guys announced that Two B is coming to to Fall Guys as a school. oh yeah Two Bean. I love it. Two, <laughs> two B or not Two Bean. It's oh, it's weird. The more the more that you stare at it, the more disturbing it gets. No, I think the more you stare at it, the better it gets. I, I love that him him it's just being like whatever oh, we did. Oh, CJ! Oh, he's gonna let's win this live one. Let's let's see. All right, let's look the. It can't be worse than the Sonic the Hedgehog one. What? Why no, else? Sonic, <laughs> Sonic looks fine. Let's see. Wait. Oh, I I don't like that. I love it, but Sonic does not look fine. You know he doesn't look fine. Weird. Oh, oh man. Oh. Like I saw it 
first and i was like had you really not seen it cj no i haven't been on twitter i haven't seen i haven't watched any trailers and in like weeks i have not followed game news except for today (laughs) oh that's probably a good thing (laughs) oh my god i I just saw oh this looks like something that like was birthed out of a hot topic in the mid-2000s i don't like that it's awesome (laughs) oh oh don't don't deny your urge cj (laughs) we know we know you're gonna turn the webcam off (laughs) Um, okay, so, so I'm actually very excited for that. I'm going to be all over because um, this is a series that is very near and dear to me and uh, and my partner. We we have the puppets that came from the show. I believe it was the third season. Uh, the Evil Dead game. They finally showed off gameplay. I have something pulled up for that. Oh, no, I know, and it looks very good. <laughs> I, I don't have them in this room. It's it's we have it in um, Hold on. A, a, my girlfriend's old place, but we have the ashy slashy puppets from uh, Ash versus the Evil Dead. We have both of them, the demonic and the uh, regular one. They're pretty fucking dope. So I have oh. a an Ash Funko Pop that my girlfriend got me. Oh, nice. Yeah, Army did. of Dark, Ar- Ar- and specifically from Army of Darkness, which is my favorite movie in the series. Um, I'm so hyped for this game. One of my first cosplays ever was uh, I went to Good Goodwill and basically made Ash. I literally like cut up the shirt. I made like a chainsaw arm out of like a Halloween store chain chainsaw, and I worked Halloween, and no one knew who I was, but I was having an absolute blast and having the time of my life. Ruby. Yeah. There we go. It looks surprisingly like it, sorry it's it squished the best thing shown at at jeff keely's thing to me like it just looked so polished and it looked so much fun. let's um yeah. let's, let's let's describe what it is a little bit so it's an asymmetric multiplayer game mm-hmm. there's four people playing as characters through the um evil dead series uh it appears as if it's either an ai purse uh ai um npc whatnot or or player controlling the um the Kandarian demon, they can summon other deadites and whatnot. Um, you have to try to kill each other. The uh, evil, the protagonists, they have to go around doing objectives and whatnot. So it feels like a much more aggressive um, Dead by Daylight, where you're, where you're not running away from the uh, monsters. You, you can uh, fuck them up pretty good. It, it's it's almost bad. like Left for Dead sensibilities with dead by daylight because like i'm when i'm thinking like well you're if you could have an enemy control deadite then i'm like so then that has to mean that that's like a special deadite that you can always control because otherwise what are you just going to do like tap in for five minutes and then if you get killed quit the game um so the, if, the way that left for dead at least approached it where um if you had the p when you had the pvp mode uh yeah. you were like on a timer for when you could like spawn in like special infected so i i would imagine it's something like that like, like, I don't imagine you only summon, like, one dude at a time. Like, there's going to be, like, random Deadites running around Thinking. doing stuff for Like, you. a few yeah. special Deadites or something, and then you'll have, like, maybe a super Deadite also. Mm-hmm. It looks freaking fantastic. And I need to ask everyone, is it just me, or were two of those, was one of those characters Pablo, but they didn't show his face? No, oh, they showed Kelly beforehand in the, uh, I believe the reveal yeah, trailer. They- there's like photos that have like the main four characters in it, and I know someone from Ash vs. the Evil Dead is in there. Pablo, well, no, she good, is. Pablo is a good boy. You think they're uh, gonna have like the 2013 like characters like from from that one? I would be honestly baffled if Mia does not show up. Like, that, I don't think she utterly will. Utterly strange. Hey, uh, for what it's worth, the main the character, character of that one, right? Yeah, yeah, she is also the main character of Eddie of Fetty Alvarez's sequel coming out. So they're making a sequel. Yes, he's producing it. I think for what it's worth, that remake, reboot, whatever people want to call it, that is a really fucking solid movie. It's not like in the same like ha ha funny tone. It's 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 the more it's probably the most serious out of the entire franchise. It's it's not the best Evil Dead movie, but like if you do try to just separate as like it's a completely different reinterpretation of that basic idea, it is a fair like my biggest criticism of it is I don't think they should have kept the uh, the whole like tentacle rape kind of aspect because even sam raimi has said if he was had his opportunity he would have never done that in the original if, movie if i remember correctly they didn't go through with it in the remake but yeah it's, it's still oh, it they, wasn't they, they, they imply there. something it's not yeah. as graphic they yeah. imply that she has something slide into her so it's like it's still gross but it's not it's as like, bad as it could have what been what that remake was trying to harken back to like the first because the first one was like a true horror film exactly one, like it went just, full like looney tunes and the third one was just on some other even one. more looney tunes it was amazing 
Uh, let's see. Any last thoughts on Evil Dead? It looks good. It looks I think solid. it looks fantastic. And I'm just to keep pushing this theory that we're going to see more characters. Like, I mean, I think that one character with the frilly topped like winter jacket is Pablo because his hair looks almost exactly the same from the back. And they already showed that we have both young Ash from like two and Army of Darkness and old Ash from Ash versus Evil Dead. So like I don't think that I right we know already skins are gonna be a thing. I want a we Ted know that, Raimi skin. That's what I want. <laughs> oh yes, please. A Ted Raimi skin, a Sam Raimi skin. We know Evil Ash is gonna be in there as like a super whatever, mm-hmm. I guess like a playable one. We know um I want them to sneak uh, in Toby Maguire. I'm pretty sure Eric the Red was in the new trailer when in the original yeah. trailer it was just some random knight dude who I don't know if it was Eric's brother yes. from Army of he Darkness was, or if it was another knight. He was right at the end because I guess yeah. he has his own like finishing move or something. Yeah. It looks freaking great. I can't believe it's actually real. So it I'm, looks I'm like a more for it. polished like Friday the thirteenth. Yeah. Exactly. To, that's to, exactly to be, how it feels to me. To be fair, yeah. that's a low bar. Oh yeah, you're right. Like, <laughs> it looks like a more polished Dead by Deadlight. <laughs> by I'm not just saying this because I Kickstarter back that game. I actually really enjoyed Friday the Thirteenth. It's just a shame that they couldn't get their shit together, as well as like every other thing that happened that was not something they could control. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was all rights holder stuff, and I do kind of actually yeah. feel bad for that game that it really got like cut off by literally a force that they couldn't move. Right. All right. Next so next game, game Jose. Uh, very hyped for this one. Um, we can even talk about the Xbox stuff related to it. Uh, Back for Blood. I, I, oh, yeah. I, I will say it. I've been a Left 4 Dead stand since the first one came out, and I believe what was it two twenty? I'm sorry, two thousand eight or two thousand nine. I've been playing Left 4 Dead two Maybe nonstop since it came out. Um, I got my Yoshi mods. I got my freaking cat submachine gun mods. I'm I'm good to go. I love Left 4 Dead. So the fact that we're even getting a spiritual successor to that because Valve couldn't fucking be bothered to do it properly. Yeah, can we just can we just talk uh, about that? Where they're like, hey, 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 Valve, can we make a third game? Valve's like, no, and they're like, we're doing our own, and we don't. Valve's think too totally busy. Four in it. <laughs> Valve's too busy making microtransactions worse and worse somehow. Even though they kind of also like started that trend and paid four games. Mm-hmm. It's it's weird that this like all the instance all the trailers for Back for Blood are basically forcing people to forget evolve happened and i and i appreciate that i, I, oh, I think yeah. it's best if we leave that in the past <laughs> yeah it's like I, oh yeah that was turtle rock that wasn't was turtle it rock. yeah i oh, forgot I oh man i'm so excited oh, man. Jose, jose i'm with you like uh left 2 is probably my favorite first person shooter like ever it like, I, <laughs> hell yeah left 4 dead is my baby this is going to be my probably my favorite game of the year um, they, they got special infected. They have a, at the end of the trailer, they have this like big, freaking huge, enormous because you know, Left 4 Dead 2. Or, I'm sorry, Left 4 Dead 1 and 2. Like, like the worst you're going to get is a tank, maybe two tanks at the same time. So to see it getting yeah. changed up with the new types, the new bosses, and um, yeah, we, like we can giant probably, bosses, it seems like. And we can probably even just slip it in right now, but day one game pass. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. yeah. I, I was guys. just about to pre-order it last night too. I'm just like, nah, pre-ordering's fucking stupid. I'm not gonna do that. And then literally <laughs> the next day, it's like, oh yeah, Game Pass. I don't gotta pay for it. Sweet. Destiny rewarded you for that incredibly correct statement. I say as even <laughs> though I have pre-orders still waiting. Um, shit. What was I gonna say? Oh, also completely cross-play, so no one has an excuse not yeah. to play it. I'm gonna oh. drag every single person on this show in with me. Ah, uh, you don't even have to drag me. I, I oh man it's just so great to see something so unabashedly like literally our last company that i guess owned us and owned our asses wouldn't let us do this so now we're just doing it and calling it something else it's yeah, just that's, not that's like left honestly my favorite part about this is they're just <laughs> like well valve's not gonna let us do it and we're gonna still put the four in it <laughs> they knew what they were doing we don't care. incredible um, big dick energy oh totally like I... good good on that man <laughs> I can't wait to find like a core team of people and do some ex or I don't know if they're going to call it expert. Basically, the hardest difficulty in, in, um, in Left 4 Dead's one and two, where you can't do friendly fire. That takes off like twenty percent of your health. Like you got to be like a super close knit team. And we can't. I am. I am. You can't play. We can't. You and I can can't try. Play. It's, you, you and I you, can have, you're, you're you're bad with the friendly fire. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to do that. No, we are both. Bad with the, <laughs> don't even like we, we we tried breaking the friendly fire and saying throw three. Oh, don't shit. even. Uh, t- to CJ be fair, calling Jose out. T- to be fair, I had unlimited health in Saints Row Three. <laughs> you're you're blowing up my cars left and right. That's on you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. But uh, 
yeah, I am very, very fucking excited for this game. And I did play the beta when it was out. Um, fuck, what was it like four months ago or something like that? I never got an email. Yeah, I, I, I never, I never got it. But I'm feeling like if it's going to be day one on game on like Game Pass, I wouldn't be surprised if they had like an Xbox exclusive beta, or like an Xbox exclusive demo. Yeah, probably. They announced they have a early access beta if you pre-order it. Um, I'm not going to pre-order it because it's going to be on Game Pass. Why bother? Yeah, again, I wouldn't mm-hmm. be surprised if maybe they had one that was like Game Pass exclusive or something, or if like later down the line they like let Game Pass people in in on it because that seems like an incredibly Microsoft. Is there like early access if you pre-order like those like yes. four day or okay so it, it, the Game Pass we'll we'll get that like for sure. I, I don't like, know if it's like early access in the sense it's like a couple days, but there is like another beta that they have oh, okay, lined okay. up. Um, I mean, technically they have games like Grounded that are again technically like early access, not finished, but they've been letting people play it like slowly but surely as they put it together. Um, it seems like it's the same model that behemoth did with pit people where like they had their first release and it was basically just like a quarter of the game not even and they were adding on to it as the development progressed Mm -hmm. um hashtag don't pre-order games especially if it's digital there's literally no point uh i don't want it to run out (laughs) (laughs) unless unless it's nintendo threatening to freaking saw off mario's head if you don't give him the money in time I had to go rent a physical copy of Cyberpunk, Jose. I could not buy it digitally. What are you talking about? <laughs> I it. Places to rent things? That was that was the uh, store trying to protect you, CJ. <laughs> that was the PS store. <laughs> the PS store was trying to look out for you, and you were just like, "No, let me just I inject start- that garbage directly into my veins." I like, feed it, feed, feed my PlayStation. Does like you're gonna, you're gonna fucking play this? I, game. The la- <laughs> just- last time I pre-ordered something digitally was, I think, near Replicant, and the time timer fucked up and i was like oh the game's gonna be released an hour an hour early and i watched the timer go three two one then back to 59 and i screamed i i don't want to i don't want to <laughs> what is it like derail i'm sorry but yeah the last thing i pre digitally was need for speed hot, um hot pursuits like the, the remaster and i remember thinking all right it's gonna open at like midnight on the east coast no it opened at midnight on the west coast so it's like Ooh. 3 a.m here i got so pissed I got so. Oh my god! You, you, oh you know, quick, god. quick segue, That's and then we'll terrible. move on. But like, I, I feel like if you're very confident in the quality of your product, like whether it's it's um, the reviews are already out or whatnot, or if you know you're gonna play it for like um, like let's, let's say Ratchet and Clank, I knew I was gonna play that, or like fucking regardless, like yeah, yeah pre-order. But if it's just like a random game, you just like I don't know, I'll check it out. Don't fucking pre-order it. Don't do exactly. it. No. Um. Okay. You know what? I. I know some people have had a bad E3 season this year with some disappointing news or lack of news. Oh, God. Um, this is a very fucking good E3 for me this year. I, I'm eating damn damn well this year. Um, game of the year. I know, I know I said game of the year to fucking back for blood. Uh, game of the year part two this year. Or no, I think it's, it's oh, no, no, never mind. This comes out next year. So back for blood is still safe. Um, game of the year part two, 2022. Uh, Mario Rabbids 2. Uh, mm-hmm. I, f- I forget. Oh, what yeah. the, I forget what the subtitle is, and I've been preaching it. I think I preach it on this show. Hope? The, the first. Uh, yeah. There you go. Um, the, I think I've raved about it on here. That um, get it, rave, rave, and it's haha. Um, the, that first game is fucking fantastic, and it's still one of the best games on the Switch. Um, apparently it sold pretty damn well. But even when I talk to like people casually about what they played on their Switch, that's typically not like. The first couple of handful to come up, and that's the number one game I recommend because it is a damn good XCOM clone, and it, and it does stuff like in its own regard. It's not it's not a one to one. It has its own rules and skills and variables and and whatnot. It's a very beautifully well designed game. It's got cool music. Uh, sorry, Grant Kirkhope. I played that mostly on Bart. Um, so so new music for me playing that silent. My bad. Um. Yeah, it, it's more rabbits. They're adding more characters, and I'm fucking happy. I'm eating good these, these next few years. I gotta get back to it. Um, I uh, uh, I only got like I honestly like six or seven hours in. What I played was really fun, so I'm really happy that game is getting a sequel. Also, do you think that that game looked a little better? Yeah, it looked very. Oh, good. you're talking about the pro <laughs> shit, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it looks very I, good. It I, looks 
I don't know. I feel. Make- I personally feel like that trailer was made with a different end splash screen, and then they had to quickly <laughs> edit a new one. And Nintendo so- was like, no, no, no. no, no. They're like, Mesa, no, Mesa, I, I, I swear the Switch Pro's getting announced today, bro. I fucking promise. Uh, Damn hey it, you beat me to right. it. <laughs> hey man, I'm, I'm on the Best Buy website right now. I'm going to get I it. Am those not, <laughs> I am not new to these rumor streets. I I know Mesa, exactly you've been swearing for like for. the last month there's gonna be like any day now. <laughs> hey man, what's the number one thing that you should know about leaks? All right. If, if plans if you, change. If, if, you, if you guess every day, uh, you'll eventually be I'm, right. I'll, I'll grant you that. I can call my uncle up at Nintendo if you guys want. He'll let you Hell yeah. On the show. yeah. G- have yeah, him give us some Xbox Live. Some, some, uh... <laughs> yeah. Guys, Sonic's going to be the next Pokemon. You didn't hear it from me, so, though. Right? Some Microsoft points. <laughs> yeah, I really do think that I, game looks significantly better than, Ra- than Ra- Raven Rabbits. I mean... Mario Plus rabbits. <laughs> I, um, I, I do yeah. think it's hilarious. This was leaked by fucking Nintendo of, of yeah, all of all places. Weird. The the um just just someone like hit Nintendo's the wrong button. I mean, honestly, yeah, I feel like that was someone pressing the wrong button. I I don't think it's that big of a fuck up. Big organizations, a lot of moving gears. It's yeah, it's it's not a big deal. Wait, was it three o'clock? Was it three hours rather? Was it three hours? It, it, it was a I while was, beforehand. Yeah, it was, it was hours. like it was like. Oh, it was early in the morning because I woke up and mm. saw it. So maybe someone put East Coast time when it was Probably. supposed to be West. Honestly, that's a mistake that you happens mean a lot. I wouldn't. Mm. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> Absolutely. Got got to conform to the West Coast hours. Um, but yeah, I am. Um, I can't fucking wait for this game. I'm going to be in love with it. Can we pre-order it because it's good? Right Ignore what I said before. Mario pre-order this Kimbo. specifically. <laughs> yeah, Mario Akimbo on the cover. My, my dude's dual wheel. <laughs> oh my god. The, the meme came true. Mario playing fucking gun game. Oh, Supposed shut to get to the knives. Up. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> anyway, let's go ballistic. ahead and, uh, Can I? Someone draw Mario wielding ballistic knives. Yes. Can I, can I do the... Can I do the... Can I do the next thing? Because I'm pretty sure I know what the next thing is. Uh... Yes. Five minutes. Oh max. my god, Rainbow Six Extraction looks so fucking fun! I forgot to watch the trailer. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. It's... Because, like, uh, d- 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 for those who don't know, they did a weird zombie event in-, in-, in Halloween, like, two years ago, and it was called Operation Chimera, and it was just, like, a literal, like, Russian Spetsnaz satellite falling onto Earth, and it has this weird alien virus on it, and it was the coolest, most fun P- PvE, like, siege experience ever. And Extraction is just a sequel to that, so it's all the, like, siege operators, but in a PvE, like, Left 4 Dead style. It's it, it's literally Rainbow Six Siege, and then get the guy from History Channel, Aliens. Aliens. It's, and it's so oh cool, because they're, t- they're handling it so seriously, like, this is not joking, like, this is, like, actual aliens, what does the government do is they call Team Rainbow to fix it. And it has this crazy mechanic where, like, your friends, like, the people that you play co-op with can get captured by the aliens during your, like, extraction, and if you don't save them, like, they will get trapped, and you cannot pick that character. You have to go and save that 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 character. Like, it is, like, it is, like, it's bigger than people thought it was going to be, and it looks fucking nuts, and they've even, like, changed all the operators so that their gadgets work in a PvE, like, setting, and they're stealth in it, and you use the drones to, like, map out where, like, aliens are and i am freaking out like i am like so excited about this it's i kind of want to fun i kind of want i kind of want to say that before i say my opinions on it i do want to say like you know as much as i hate ubisoft because and i i just feel the need to remind people of this like you know all that shit happened came out where yeah. most of the corporate structure was hiding abusers protecting abusers even though some of them got fired they still make money from the company stocks uh the ceo Still hasn't answered whether or not he was aware of his friends or has not confirmed things. Um, they've handled this thing so terribly. Apparently, it's still terrible there, and people just aren't reporting it as much. Um, that being said, I think it's a really cool idea. Um, I'll probably play it at some point. I don't know when I'm going to be able to actually get my hands on it. And um, yeah, like, I mean, it's it, it, everything Sarah said pretty much. I, I only feel slightly bad for this, and I wish it kind of came out earlier because I think. Back for Blood is going to eat a lot of its lunch. I think it will too. 
don't think not so. Not that this uh, isn't good. I mean, they have different... It's more tactical than Back for Blood does. And yeah. I feel like there is its own audience for the tactical part of this. That's exactly what I was going to say. Mm-hmm. To the Left for Dead part of it. Yeah, they're not going for the I exact same Blood thing. looks fun to me, but I see myself playing Extraction more because I've grown to love the tactical version of... Yeah. The, like, like, the tactical stuff in Siege a lot, and I'm normally not that type of person. But Especially it's, that, if it's just the same bones, but with PvE. Yeah. So, like, you'll, yeah, it'll exactly. still retain that player base. Like, that's yeah. specifically for me. Like, that's, like, everything I wanted and what the Chimera event was in the original. I so believe like, it was Outbreak, by the way. Uh, the, uh, the, uh, the season was called Chimera, so I just call it that because the season took place during the Halloween. Because that's okay. when Lion and Finca were introduced. And also, this is looking to have actual cutscenes and, like, story stuff in it, which, again, hi, that's exactly what I've wanted from this series. Oh, yeah. So, like, it's, it looks, it's, basically, it's more than what people thought it was going to be, and that's really nuts, because it seems so out of left field for Siege, like, a game that, that, like, revels in its realism. So, like, the fact that they're going balls to the wall with this, and, like, no, no, this is actual aliens, <laughs> like, we are not sugar sugarcoating this, is incredible. Is it possible? That aliens have invaded. I mean, whoever put that Spetsnaz like is, is, Russian is probe put it in the wrong spot because it broke out. <laughs> is the final level going to be in Area Fifty One, but you have to like Naruto run in there? Uh, I would die because because I mean it. It's we don't know where this facility that was being kept, and I wouldn't be surprised if it's Area Fifty One. The last thing I will say about it is the way that they're doing it is incredibly cool. For those who don't know. There's three sub levels per mission. It basically goes easy, medium, hard, and you can choose to be extracted after each sub level is done, and you'll take all the stuff that you've uh, obtained and just leave, or you have the option to move on. And if you die at any point, you will lose everything that you have gathered, and you will have to do it again. So that adds an even more tactical element to it because you have to trust the people that you are playing with to want to do what they're claiming is like the hardest sub level, which is three. And I, I, I like that because uh, you don't trust randos in Siege anyway. So. I, I, play, I, just, I play with voice chat turned off. Fuck those people. Yeah, yeah same. See, I mute yeah. voice chat, but I keep my headphones on so I can hear people's footsteps. That's the only thing about this that I'm worried about is that this game looks like you want to use voice chat in it, especially if you're playing with like random oh, people. CJ, you, you would love playing Siege with randoms. They're, they're like the nicest white people I've, I've ever. I've done it. I, are you kidding? I've, I've played Siege. Like, I've played for a long time. Yeah, bro, people suck on Siege. <laughs> well, the so worst. Like, no, those, those, those. Since, <laughs> since, since we have a couple people on this podcast who have played, I know I actively play. I know Jose actively plays. CJ, I don't know when you played last. How does PvE, like, tactical siege like what does that do for you like, yeah okay like, 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 is that a thing that you're like i i to? love i love competitive multiplayer games um and okay. but i i will say that like i have a I have one friend um like a mutual on twitter that now I, I play video games with every every so often and him and i we always play call of duty but we we're always looking for that next like co-op thing this is like perfect because we both love siege um i will never play siege with him again because i got really pissed off um because that game like brings out the absolute worst in me um oh, so no. this 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 seems like the perfect like all right it, it siege is like you know like near perfect shooting near perfect sense of strategy but paired with like um the, the pve stuff so we don't have to get pissed at like other yeah. players <laughs> and like i i i'm i'm all in i am 100 in i i was in from the start i mean i'm i'm in with anything ubisoft at this point like again like blind sled said mm-hmm. fuck them but Someone's gonna play them. <laughs> yeah, gonna, it's. I, I, I will play. say, be very glad you don't play Siege on PC. That that is, if you think the console fan base is, is fucking shitty, the, P, the PC uh, player base for Siege is so much fucking worse. It is. <laughs> it is I can't really wait. Bad. I can't wait till we, you get to the end of the base game and you find out like who's behind this, and like a portal opens up and they just play a trailer for the upcoming Rick and Morty crossover. No. Please. Yes. <laughs> Holy Dude, that, shit. Yes. that's the funniest shit I've ever seen, Blaine. Re- reel it into ex- everyone has to like reel that into existence, please. Oh, we need another to thing it. that they said that's very cool is if you have your like if you have your Ubisoft account tied to Extraction and you have a Rainbow Six Siege account, playing Extraction will unlock skins. Hell yeah! And charms and guns that is actually cool. 
Siege, which is awesome. And that's like, like, I'm so glad that they're doing that. And I know before we move on to the next game, really, really quick, because I'm the only person who cares about this, and I don't care. The trailer for the new, for the first DLC for Watch Dogs Legion, the whole Bloodline stuff, is exactly what I thought it would, exactly what I thought it would be. It is wrench fucking shit up, and like Aiden wanting to beat him over the head with a bat, and I'm here for it. And I'm so excited, because I loved Legion so much. And again, I straight up forgot opinion, that game existed. Worst I'm opinion sorry. Internet, <laughs> I like Aiden. Wrench was my favorite character in a in a Watch Watch Dogs too, and just knowing that the whole plot is that whole that that like meme where it's like, "What do you have? A knife? No!" And it's literally Aiden pulling the "What do you have?" and then Wrench pulling the uh, a kill switch for a for a robot army. Like I am so excited. That's the dumb shit Aiden. that I was hoping that it would be, and I'm just Aiden. totally here for it. Aiden is the type of dude that would play that would play Siege on PC and toss out racial slurs. He's too busy doing his own shit. Leave him alone. No, he would. I'm sorry. <laughs> Looks like a dude yeah. who does that. Why, why, right. why are you playing as a white guy in a game set in Chicago? It doesn't make any sense. I mean, that, 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 like, <laughs> Maybe that's why the cops give up on going after you. Yeah, it's like, I, it's, it's, it's literally the family care. guy I'm thing. What, what, what I skin am, color? I am I'm gonna say. He's, he's shooting this, people, but he's... one <laughs> DLC and I don't care. <laughs> I, I've been wanting an excuse to go back and play and play this game, especially because they added a 60 FPS 4K update to the PlayStation 5, and oh. the DLC looks exactly everything that I wanted, so I'm very excited. I think I bought the deluxe version of it for like 30 bucks like last year. Um, then so you would have then you would have gotten it. Because yeah, so I, I, the I should play DLC it. Comes with the yeah. season pass. Yeah, so you should, could also should... not play it though. Yeah. Oh, okay. Or, and because. Financial Man, responsibility and whatnot. In my honest opinion, Legion was one of the most underrated games of last year. It is incredibly fun. Both of you make good. Both both Blaine and Sarah make good points. <laughs> you never know fun until you are an old woman beating the shit out of the military. I Who played prototype. That shit was she dope. Just drop, drop, <laughs> drop down dead. Which was my other favorite part about that game. And now I want to play prototype. Prototype is pretty Sorry, good. Sorry, Sarah, I didn't mean to talk over you. No, 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 it's 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 right, fine. We got we got to move on. Think that that game was incredibly underrated, and I hmm. wish more more people played it. My ribbing aside, I'm sure that it, it just wasn't for me. So I was like, I completely oh, yeah. no, forgot it, it existed. Yeah. Qu quick segue, and then we're gonna move immediately. Um, I would like to speak. I, I would like to say I'm speaking for everyone. If we ever rib on a game and whatnot, even if we don't personally care for it, we are generally very very happy if someone does enjoy it. We're not here yeah. to shit on people's enjoyment. I just I have we don't care for it. Except yes. for Persona Five, y'all know what you did. I'm kind of joking. All, all you, fu hey, all you uh, Futaba daters and whatnot. Yes, yeah, exactly. We should just arrest those people. Honestly, <laughs> <laughs> we should. I mean, let's just cut to the chase. Yeah. Like, why, why are we pussyfooting around this? Let's just do it. We're the last five waifu picks you saved. All right, put them in the van. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, anyway, Ubisoft conference. Um, there's some kind of Valhalla GC. I don't give a fuck about Valhalla. Anyone? Well, I like it. I'm playing oh, it right my. now. I've actually, not it yet. I'm I also right forgot now. Assassin's Creed Valhalla existed. Look, I'm okay. not joking. It's, you know what? I really like it so far, actually. So, so Sarah, you know what? I, respect to whatever you said about Watch Dogs Legion. So, because now I'm gonna have to talk about Assassin's Creed Valhalla and why it was arguably like one of the like ten greatest games of 2020. Oh fuck off! Also, <laughs> really one ton. Really <laughs> okay. They pretty much confirmed that there's not going to be a new Assassin's Creed next Good. year. Good. Very Good. quietly, they so, they they said for the first time we will be supporting this game and supporting this the first Assassin's Creed game into its second year. So they thought I was like, sorry guys. Be, to be hey, fair, they did the know. same thing with Odyssey. Yeah, but this, like, okay, so, man, that that first, because I, 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 I played Valhalla, like, before it came out for review, and then now I played I played through the, the first DLC episode, Wrath of the Druids. It's such a good Western RPG. It condenses everything. It, it streamlines it? it in a way where, you know what I'm saying, where, you know, you don't have to worry about numbers. You don't have to worry about all mm -hmm. this fucking bullshit with, like, like you would when playing The Witcher or playing a Souls game. It's just... No, here, you like the skill, unlock it, go on. You don't like it, reset your entire skill tree and uh, change it up. Um, it's such a great game. It really is. It's one of my favorite RPGs of all time now after putting like 80-something hours into it um, between both the PS4 and PS5 versions. And Jose's wrong. I, I, res <laughs> I, I respect you as a friend, CJ. I, I will leave it at that. I, I have been on record. I'm we, we've, me, me and Mesa specifically... Lot, 
Mesa, you trade. What about that whole like 30 minute diatribe we did about like, man, fuck these modern Assassin's Creed games. It's all about the classic ones, oh, brother. Really just chopping dudes it. down left have, and right. This is okay. This so far is significantly head and shoulders above Origin and Odyssey. The thing with so far, you're in Odyssey. The thing with Origins Odyssey is like there are like loot shooters mm-hmm. converted. Anyway, into we're getting distracted. We got, Sorry. we got to move. Their <laughs> RPG ness gets in front of their funness. Exactly. And this one so far doesn't. At the, least the best you just play as white people. The, the best thing I'll say about Odyssey, uh, not Odyssey, um, Valhalla, yeah, it doesn't have the honest white it, people. It doesn't you know? have it doesn't have the loot vomit <laughs> of Odyssey. I'll give it that. Um, yeah, absolutely. Valhalla, I really like like I have it yet because it came out or I got it for Christmas. All right, we, we got to be well, guys. Sorry, but I see play it. But God, I'm glad that someone. I'm glad that you enjoyed it. <laughs> All right, yeah. We're like on, it, even if I don't care too much. All right, uh, GameCritics.com. Go, sir. God, God fucking damn. <laughs> Far Cry. Jose, you can do this. Um, Far Cry Six had some gameplay. It looks like more Far Cry. Ooh. I love the actor. He's cool. Oh, Maybe give him some roles where he's not angry. Give him some roles where he's not angry. I was about to say also give give him more roles where he's not playing Latino men he's when he's a, a black Latino Italian. He's, Wait, he's black Spanish or black Italian? He's Italian, right? He's Italian. He's yeah. not, he's not he's not Latino. It's just that I, people saw you know all these these where he played Latino guys and he's like that's that's our guy. <laughs> I don't I don't think it's fair of you to make fun of the white producer looking at him and not being able to tell the difference. <laughs> yeah, I, he, it, he, I mean, he yeah. said he doesn't see color. I mean, my man here out here making his money, getting his stuff done. All right, I am supporting my brother. All right. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, let, let's not get into it, but uh, Lance Riddick is Wesker. Fuck yeah. 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 Woo! Oh, I also want to just say not to get into it. Uh, uh, Ther- Teresa, the fucking pet, whatever. I love that little. It's like, I mean, tell me if I'm wrong. Is that racist? That it's okay. okay. I, I, I will okay. say this. I did it on Twitter. I I have there's no shadow of a doubt beyond my mind that it's that's a white dude that came up with it because like ha, 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 it's funny but the same fucking token I literally have like three different fucking family members in my extended family that have wiener dogs literally named chorizo so so yeah like, on, on point could... on point racism right there it's like uh, the cyber <laughs> it's like God. the cyberpunk thing of like oh ran- these characters will say random Spanish words chorizo is exactly in that line I mean it's adorable but come on Blaine but did you see the chicken that has a studded I on? did that was pretty <laughs> rad which and the and the freaking um you can the, 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 the alligator that has like a T.O. Polo, a polo on <laughs> like oh my god we don't have politics we swear by the way look at our cute dog yeah I remember hearing this one they're not they're not saying that that there's this one is political they, but, they, uh, they t- I'm Ubisoft proper that. as a pop as a publisher came out said like this isn't politics and then I believe the creative director came out said, like yeah no th- this has politics okay cool, cool, cool two cool. different but are they good or bad cool. I guess that's what we're gonna find that's out the question <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna find I hate by, that like oh, this by, game by the- actually looks way better to me than every other Far Cry game I've touched in like the last ten years I think, oh, I oh. think it's actually because this one. And I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing, but the trailers that they've been putting out have been reminding me of Quentin Tarantino film trailers. Oh no! Where it knows. Did someone say? Did someone say the N word? Far <laughs> Cry just works better in hotter it, environments. I also think Far Cry works works better when it knows what it is, and I feel mm-hmm. like Far Cry Five took itself a little bit too seriously, even though I really enjoyed that that game. Yeah. And I, I'm a true crime person, so I just like cults. Not I, that's I'm taken totally out of context. I do not like cults. I like. I'm d- clipping d- that. <laughs> but, um, you should watch that. the movie Red it's State by Kevin Smith. It's a really good take on that topic. It's it's also the reason why Far Cry Three Blood Dragon is my it's favorite only Far one. Cry game because it knows what it is. Oh, it just uh, doesn't take itself too seriously. So. Qu- quick side note: I was reminded of while we we're talking about the, the totally on point racism. Uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna um, be the episode. Title. I've, I've, no, I've been playing. I've been playing Mass Effect Three. It's very annoying when you have like the the Hispanic character, and he literally says like the same two f- Spanish words over and over, like loco and pendejo. Don't very annoying. Fuck God. off with that don't shit. Don't tell me that, Jose. Now I don't want to play Mass Effect. <laughs> just just play Mass Effect Two. It's the best one Whoa, anyway. Bro, what the hell? Isn't that also, Isn't it the same character whose entire purpose is the characters? We made a gay character, and he's buried Di- queers. Oh, Look, we did different it. Different character. Technic. Different That's a different character. Yeah. yeah. Yes. 
Oh, oh who am I thinking of? No, fuck that game. You're thinking though. Cortez. I'm talking about I'm thinking Vega. of a party member. I'm thinking of Vega. He has a boyfriend that died in like an attack, I think. No, that, that's, that's Cortez. Oh, that's Cortez. Oh, shit. Is that Great the one Cortez, played by uh, Freddie Prince, uh, Freddy Prince Jr.? Freddie Freddy Prince Jr. is Vega. I don't know who Who's the stereotype? Because I don't know anything about Spike. Who's the stereotype? Who's the stereotypical one, Jose? Uh, Vega. He's the one that says Pendejo and Loco. And then, like, Shepard. Shepard, he does, like, the most... He he she uh, does like the most uh cool. f- fuck fucking uh white dude response. I'm, I'm playing male shepherd. He has like he's like loco. Huh, I like that. I'm like, oh shut the, I'm like shut the fuck up, dude. <laughs> shut what? the fuck up. That was that, that was accidentally the most realistic white thi- person. That is the most realistic thing a white person has ever written. Is another white person being like, oh yeah, I love the way you speak. <laughs> 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 fucking base each other. Latino pills. Male chef confirmed for spicy white. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, I had to go for it. Sorry. He said puede, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love you, man. Oh. I fucking hate video games, man. Oh. I know, right? Uh, for, for context's sake, I'm not saying a racist thing. There was a white woman on Twitter who genuinely tried to push the idea of spicy white, that you're basically so cool you're not so super white, and I hate it, and I, I made you want to awesome. die. I love that white apologists. I love it. Fuck. <laughs> just, yeah, oh. can, you, can you imagine how bad the equivalent would have been if you had done the same thing with Jacob in Mass Effect 2? Oh, no! <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob just starts saying random shit like damn and shit and oh man that was whack. That's a callback to a movie Dude, no nobody knows. If you if you max out his loyalty, do you get a pass? No, oh, Jose. That's bad. That's bad. Jose. Jose. <laughs> it's so bad. I'm sorry. That that's horrible. But I, if, I don't con- if, if I don't condone Wait, this, I do if, not condone this. If you max out Vegas, like if you max out Vegas, like loyalty, do you get invited to the uh, Cadenasa? <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> this fucking no. this is Kinsier. <laughs> Damn it! I was about to say, did he tell you about this? Jesus <laughs> You're my. No, we're no longer allies. We're essays now. <laughs> Essays? What does writing a paper have to do with that? <laughs> We're not writing a paper, are we, big? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking Christ. <laughs> this is the best episode we've ever had. Thank you, CJ. <laughs> Jesus. No, see, okay, I got, I got one last one. <laughs> I'm, I'm not a legit crowd. I need a so, second. So the cutscene you get though for maxing out Vega's companion, whatever meter loyalty, oh, yeah. is he invites you to dinner in his quarters, and 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 he goes, and don't worry, I made it not too spicy for you. <laughs> Jesus Christ! No, no, Blaine, Blaine, oh. come on, you can do better. Oh, oh yeah. Chief uh, uh, Shepard, I made it not too picante for you. Okay, okay, you can say that. I can't. Oh, you can't. I'm like fasting and Jewish. I can't you, say that you like can't that. Say picante. You can't say picante. You can, no, well, I can no, say no, picante, that's... but I can't say it like that. <laughs> I was worried if, you, if you'd be able to go on this mission. I guess you Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> no, God. Okay, we, we're let's all, go to we're all our Edmados here. Am I right? <laughs> My favorite We're director not- from the classics is Robert Rodriguez. I can say that. <laughs> We're not stopping this mission where it goes. <laughs> okay, we, we can't move on. Jesus Christ. What the fuck happened here? <laughs> we need to move on to the next game, please. I can already feel people canceling us on Twitter. <laughs> no, I'll give you guys a pass. You guys I'm, can have I'm, the Amigo. The amigo oh, thank you so I'm, much. I- I'm giving us the pass. There we go. The, 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 the amigo pass. <laughs> wait, wait, if I have two amigo passes as a white person, does that mean I get to do something racist later? Okay, I got to stop. I got to stop. I got to stop. We'll discuss it later. The, the council will... <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> Jesus Christ. No, no, because then I have to get the five Jew bankers together. And Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Now I actually do need to stop because I am dangerous is, because of saying something actually is, anti-Semitic. Is, is George Lopez oh, the, the Jesse Jackson of Mexican people? Oh my God. He went and said it. Yeah. Is that what you're gonna say? 
<laughs> All right, we need to talk. Yeah, to the kiddos. <laughs> I'm the talking next? about me. <laughs> what's What's the next game? Please save us from ourselves. <laughs> Jesus hmm. Christ. Oh, um, I, I swear my name's Jose. Oh. Look, 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 look at the thing. We're good. Uh, <laughs> What's the next uh, fuck, game, please? Um, <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. Um, Avatar. There's an Avatar game. It's not the Airbender. Oh, I don't need to fucking uh, talk about that. I, it's not Airbender. I don't give a fuck about it. Yeah! James oh. Cameron's Avatar, baby. Hell yeah. 2022. It's going to save Baby Avatar. Go to the Pandora. 2024. Never stop going, baby. It's I'm not colonialism it. because... I get it in 2005. It's not colonialism because they're blue. Well, no, it's okay. So it's made by the Division people, right? Ubisoft Massive? Like, that's the, that's the team that's making it. So yeah, is it going to play it like... Really? The, yeah. So my thing is, is it going to be like a third person shooter? Is it going to be like a third person action game like Assassin's Creed? That's I what think, I... I think they've already said it's it's going to be an action adventure title. Okay. Um, But I don't think they've gone into anything else other than it's using like the newer version of this no drop ending. Like they just re- revealed that like it's using the like next gen version of it. But other than that, we just know that it's an action adventure game and it's going to be just them against the military again. I, mean, I'm so I don't know if you, I, I and I'm being completely serious here. I'm cu- I don't know if they're gonna do the whole like you're just Jake Sully person where Damn, you can just go between, back. Yeah, yes. we can just go between like <laughs> Navi body and human body. I don't know. But if it's the division people, I'm not a fan of the division as a game, but the gameplay is incredibly solid, and I would like to see them do an Assassin's Creed style like action. Uh, I want a sex mini game where you put the hair. Oh, yeah. Jesus and Christ! The- yeah, you plug you plug them in like USB cables. Yeah, <laughs> like the God of War, the God of War button prompts. <laughs> yes. <laughs> When it go, when it cuts back to them, they're both to, their hair is just totally damp, oh my God. all the way down. Oh you gotta God. do that every time you have to ride like an, like a mount. <laughs> no, wait, no. wait, wait, wait. Actually, wait, so wait. When, when they do it, if they're doing that, are, and they're they're using the same thing to like go on their mounts, no, does that mean they're sleeping no, with the mounts too? <laughs> don't. No, let's. I don't want to go there. Robot Chicken went there years ago, and it was gross. Let's oh, not yeah, go. Oh yeah, the, the Patrick, the Patrick Stumpa. <laughs> oh, I haven't seen that. <laughs> okay, I, um... I, I will say I genuinely love the fact that they got the lead singer of Fall Out Boy <laughs> to sing a song about Navi fucking. Jesus Christ! I'm, I'm like, excited for this. A part of me is honestly kind of interested because when did this start development? Because they had to have been doing the 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 Division Two had to have come out. It was announced in 2017, 2018, I think. And like ha- when did the Division 2 come out? 2019. Okay, so uh, this must have been in pre-production while they were finishing yeah. up the Division 2 or something. It's, and this is Ubisoft's second Avatar game, which is hilarious, because they did the license game. Oh, that one, the first one was bad. That one, <laughs> from what I remember, like, oh it wasn't God. great, but it wasn't terrible. Played with both sides. I, it was, I mean, it was a good six out of ten. That Ubisoft. one, thank you, CJ, that one was the one where you, where you played as both. So you both you played both sides. A theme that Ubisoft continues to. Oh, uh, dude, I love both sides. Oh, damn it, I was gonna say. That. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for everyone to stop talking so I could just say it. Beat you to it, boy. <laughs> uh, it's all right. But also, the one thing that I'm curious about is: did they have? Did development take so long because they were waiting to know what Cameron had done with the movie? Yeah, they had or to. Or were the they scripts. just given free reign? No, so what I imagine is because James Cameron's done with like Avatar's four, like Avatar four scripts, so they probably read that shit already. Like they know what's going to happen. It, it, Why is, did he write it but not film any of them? I still don't get he's that. Been underwater. <laughs> is it an unpopular opinion bar? to to think that Avatar is um, the plot of that is like super bare bones and it's all like oh, when absolutely. people when people are like frothing over in the mouth about it, it was literally just like, wow, this looks amazing. But like, there's no substance behind it. The point it was people were self-diagnosing yeah, the themselves with parent Pandora depression the syndrome plot, and people, being suicidal. People, people were watching like fucking like six times movies. And just like, damn, dude, okay. The plot's bad. The tech that it the the tech that it what's the word like the the way that they use the tech in film pretty much changed special effects to me. It's I mean, obviously, really dumb example, but if you saw Warcraft, the reason why the orcs in Warcraft were done so damn well was that was literally up upgraded Avatar tech. Oh, you watched like, I, uh, Jungle Book 
Like a look like that. Like, that was like the upgraded Avatar tech also. Yeah, like it's every, literally every... Avatar changed yeah. the game when it comes to special effects because they could literally have what the person was supposed to be playing on a separate screen while they had the actor doing it. I mean, I, I, get, I guess it's true about what they say. It's true about what they say. Jar Jar walked so that Avatar could sprint. Yes, quite, two quite two literally. racially two racial racially motivated like characters mm-hmm. that that like DNA carried over as well. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> but hey, we got to really we got to move on. Hey, what's the, I was gonna say we got we got we got to go. We got I'm like curious to know minutes. if they use that tech in the game. I wouldn't be surprised if they if they did to make the to make the Navi in the game act like. Like you, you could tell that that like an actor's playing them, and an and an and an, and an animator did like hand animate the movements. I'm just I'm just curious if they did that for the game. If, I wouldn't be surprised if they did. If a Navi doesn't T pose in the movie and have purple textures, I'm I'm not watching it. Um, we got to move on. Yeah. Okay, X- Xbox conference. Uh, mm. Xbox came out fucking Xbox. swinging. Fucking Phil Spencer is swinging his big dick Rick energy out here. Um, like almost every, I think there's like maybe three exceptions, but like everything else at, uh, at the conference is all like, uh, day one game pass. It's, it, it, this is the game pass conference, basically, even if they labeled it as the, uh, Xbox and Bethesda game pass. Cause if you buy someone for like $7 billion, um, I think it was like 7 billion, uh, you're, you you might as fucking well just fucking flaunt it around. Don't don't try to hide it under the Xbox umbrella. Like, yeah, just just fucking flaunt it. Absolutely. Um, I need to mark a time code real quick. Xbox. Um, so let's just go down the list. Starfield exclusive. No shit. GG. They Not paid a surprised. lot of money for it. I still uh, can't figure out what the fuck that game is supposed to be, like playable playing wise. It's space. Fallout, but in the space. Recent, the recent leak said it was a mixture of. Elite Dangerous and No Man's Sky. Don't know if that's true. Yeah, they, 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 didn't, they didn't show any gameplay from somebody, what I... I'm sorry, go ahead. I remember hearing somebody say that it's supposed to be a Han Solo simulator. <laughs> so there's what? that. Do I get Chewbacca? I mean, nice. You got that giant oh, yeah. robot yeah, alien stompy thing that um, was in the trailer. But, that but yeah, they, they, like they didn't show any gameplay, but f- from like basically the gist of it, I would. It looks like there's going to be a huge emphasis on exploration, whether that's going to be in the style of No Man's Sky or that's just kind of like what the story revolves around. If that's going to be a central uh, tenet of it, at least. Um, yeah, looks cool. It's coming uh, November 11th, 2022. So that will. So they say. I, I, I like, like disclaimer. I I don't want to do console war bullshit. I I'll I will uh, compliment companies when they're doing well. I'll talk shit if they're doing shitty stuff. Um, Microsoft's on a fucking roll. It's uh, and, and, and ultimately, uh, we, we can have discussions about consolidation ultimately being bad, but competition in the games industry and in most industries basically every industry is a good thing. It creates better services, better products for people and incentivizes competition to, uh, to follow suit. So ultimately a good thing, but that's about it. Um, anything else on Starfield? I guess there's not really like too much mm-hmm. to go into it about. It's a Bethesda game studios game. Yep. That's from, all I know. Yep. From that's all you gotta say. what, from what it's, sh- Showing from like the background art that that they had in the like in the like convention space, it kind of looks like it's going for that like retro space vibe in the color scheme and stuff, which I really yeah. like when it comes to like futuristic stuff. But they obviously didn't show much. I I also joked about it earlier, but I feel like Bethesda has like a claim on the like eleven eleven thing. <laughs> They're just like, don't they worry, do? we'll get it done. Well, well, because Skyrim came out on eleven eleven. And I feel like didn't one of the Fallout games come out on eleven eleven or am I going crazy? It came out close and no, it came out on on, on like I think eleven one. Yeah, Fallout like they have this came weird out the first thing when it comes the first with the, of November, the yeah. with, with, with like the number one. Like I feel like that's like their thing. They're like, oh don't oh, oh don't worry, we will have it done by then. It's like, are you sure you've been working on this for seven months <laughs> or seven years? Like, like I mean, good on you. Mm-hmm. Wow. It's in the oven. It's it's cooking. Yeah, it's Don't, worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. It'll be done. Uh, Forza Horizon. The, the only note I put in here, it's cars. Cars. Cars go zoom. Mexico. 
I like Mexico. Yeah, it, looks, it looks fucking beautiful. Put more things in Mexico. Mexico's cool. I can't I'm glad say. people are happy for it. It's just not my kind of thing, so I don't have much to yeah. say about oh, it. Yeah. I completely agree with what Blaine said. It looks pretty. Cars, cars go zoom. I, I I will say this is like the thing that I really want to play on a Series X and a 4K TV. Like it looks. Oh gorgeous. yeah. Oh my god! I is it 4K? Is it 4K 60? Like is it? Like I believe 4K? so. Yeah. Oh my god! I'm gonna die. Oh. It's gonna be so great. I can't wait. I'm gonna drive my Toyota AE84 across Mexico, hitting pinatas. Eating chorizo. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we're running a vet here, they. Yeah. It, it uh, it uh, looks hey, like local. that. Th- that they also saw the uh, the level creator in a GTA Five and went, "We can do that, but with cars." <laughs> They're like, "We can do that." Yeah, that's pretty good. Cool. Own levels. That's a neat idea to bring oh, in. Oh yeah, for sure. I'm surprised they haven't done it sooner. <laughs> Let's it's talk nice about the. Uh, for me. Let, let's talk about top ten anime betrayals going on here. Fucking Master Chief cheating on Cortana with another AI. I like the new and, AI. And, and, and now I do too. Uh, this this is literally it's so nice. Not feeling uncomfortable looking at an AI. Yeah. Oh, it's beautiful. The, the, the plot Designing is Designing an AI <laughs> representation that doesn't look like a fucking sex toy. Okay, so the, 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 the plot of Halo Five is literally bringing your new girl. To go meet your ex girlfriend, it's going to be awkward as fuck. I, what I want to know is, okay, is Twitter pissed that like this new AI is closed? I, I want to know, like that has to be. A thing. I don't. That's right. what I, I have, wanted to know. I didn't I see have, anything. People I actually seen really like much. her design from what I've seen on my TL. People yeah. done the whole friendship ended with Cortana. My new best friend is Cortana too. Oh, <laughs> his new VTuber waifu. <laughs> 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 um. So just for what they showed off in the trailer, um, I'll just read off my notes. It's coming holiday 2021. No delays as of yet, unless uh, you know, it gets closer or whatnot. Apparently, Xbox Brazil posted November 9th. This oh, this just oh. happened like two hours ago. Oh my god! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, um, so let's see. We already went over ch- uh, Chief committing adultery against Cortana. Uh, so it, okay. So, so this is a weird part to me. So obviously it's in a post Halo Five world. Halo Five ends with Cortana going crazy, getting the Guardians going to go wipe out mm-hmm. life from the galaxy if they don't go under her like fa- uh, fascistic thumb. Um, but apparently wow. at, at the point that this is picking up at, Cortana's already been dealt with. She's been uh, she's she's Supposedly. been deleted, but then someone took her. So I. It's a bit of a mystery step. Like, this is not at all what I was expecting. I was like, Halo Infinite? Let's go fuck Cortana up. Jose, she went crazy. You know this. You'll probably have to read a fucking book. CJ loves open. Halo novels. Bro, I don't or, even know what the what the story is in oh, Halo. I played to shoot things. Oh, what the hell? Guys, all right. <laughs> um, well, you see, there was uh, the librarian. She didn't I like the fact Halo that they died. Guardians. <laughs> Jesus, I, don't get into the horror shit, please. I did a cursory look. His suit does not jack him off. His suit does not jack him off. I did a cursory look on the internet and checked uh, our general in just a moment. Oh, what am I, I about I, to walk I, into? I can't check it at the moment. Otherwise, your okay. cameras go bye bye. Oh, uh, oh, yeah, I'll no, check on my phone. Oh, I did. I just Let's did. See. Where is it? You said in general? So, yep, yeah. yeah, they're doing it. I love gamers so much. They're so predictable. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, I love gamers. Lude oh, Lama. Man. Lude Lama is the dumbest name I've ever. And I like alliteration, but that's just like, come on. Ooh, they're doing if, it. If you're if you're in the oh, game session podcast oh, Discord, check on. it out. Oh man, they so, yeah, gamers never. Disappoint. I don't even like Aloy, oh. and I feel bad that she's getting all this un un, un- oh, deserving roasting for just looking like wait, a human being. Wait, just what are we talking like about? An uh, adult person. Oh, are we talking about uh, Aloy? Yeah, I thought it was Aloy. Oh no, it's Aloy. It's also, it's, it's 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 Kratos, not Kratos, by the way. I'm gonna keep saying Aloy, um, but because I don't That's care. Fine. But um, <laughs> like, ah oh, man, like, and She's you know, these been... are the same people. These are the same motherfuckers that wait. Damn it! I lost my train of thought, Jose. You bastard. It's okay. We have to talk about E3. <laughs> yes. Gamers never disappoint. Um, they they showed off right. multiplayer. I'm very yeah. very excited that they're keeping the grappling hook in multiplayer. It's not like a campaign oh, only yeah. thing. Dude, it's not, it's, it's hijacked. The th- I'm sorry. I don't mean like the Spartan hijacked the little fucking vehicle. Oh my god. 
it, <laughs> and it, I, I'm so glad it's not just like even contextual uh, like objects or enemies. You can just you can do it like how it is in Titanfall 2 multiplayer. If you want to attach it to a wall to sling yourself around, fuck it, go for it. It's Halo fans are dumb. They 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 want it to stay the same, but they also want it to change. And when they get one or the other, they they so you they moan and bitch about it. That multiplayer is going to be free. Yeah. I, I think that's I think that's really cool, but the, on the same token, with them pushing Game Pass, <laughs> it's kind of a moot point, but pretty cool nonetheless. I'm so cool excited. for those who don't have Game Pass, and there's actually a lot of people who don't submit to the will of Phil. Uh, I, I I I told Jose this. It's like um, the only AAA game like they're like that I'm truly excited for. That no matter how disappointing it is, like that I'll be happy to play is Halo Infinite. Like I've been looking forward to this game forever. It's the only reason I want an Xbox Series X. Well, um, I'm glad some fans of a major Xbox franchise are happy because I, I almost think I almost cried. Gear Six I'm, came out like two years ago. We're good. I almost I cried. know. Where is Gear Six? Damn it. <laughs> You're starting to sound like a Souls fan right there. Oh, I don't care. <laughs> I've waited long enough. They they left that series on a fucking cliffhanger. When is it gonna end? Well, you picked a bad ending, so that's that's fine. Oh, I, I picked the right ending. Canon. No. Oh, really? I, M- Mason and I picked the delightful ending. Nope. Nope. God picked, hit it where, picked, where, where, where it hurts. I, I, I see picked it. that a- CJ, are you a good person? I picked the delightful Why does Del have to Hell yeah. The fact that he all right, fine. I'll just fine. be here in my corner. I feel like I'm having Dude. a fever dream because this is all just, this is nonsense to me. I don't know what the fuck any of you Anyway, Halo, beautiful. it looks awesome. I'm excited yes. for Halo. Halo I love cool. Halo. I, I'm going to go eat, I'm going to go eat at Del Taco. I, I am interested in the, I didn't know this, but the dude behind ODST is doing Infinite, and I like, well, ODST and Reach are the only two Halo games that I've ever, like, really liked. Wait, he's, so he's not I'm, just the ODST I'm, guy, he's the been there since the beginning guy. Did he had to come in while they're crunching the hell out of this game? They they, they fired their last oh, creative director, he stepped in. That That's the dude that they brought in? I, yeah. Was it Jason Statham? Okay. I, I wanted to say Jason Statham because I'm watching Fast and Furious. <laughs> Yeah, Jason Statham of the mechanic fame is is uh Oh, so um, he's so the ODST yeah, dude is really the dude transporting that they brought. this game to the conclusion. He, he's been the conclusion. He has been there since the beginning, yeah. Yeah. The oh, very okay. beginning of Halo. So uh, Jose, and I'm I'm sorry, I don't I don't want to like derail. I don't want to I don't want to spend all this time talking about Halo, but you know, it's Halo. Um It's fucking Halo, yeah. You know, God, um it, it looks like it's barring a lot from five. You know what I'm saying? They're going, it's not staying <laughs> super grounded in like the original uh, three Halo games, which is great. What do you think of that? Because I know you and I talk a lot about Halo 5. Halo, Halo 5 is the most refined gameplay in that entire series. And I think the series has to evolve. Like, the, the, Halo is at the point where it's considered a boomer shooter. Fucking Doom, the literal first, first, uh, if you want to count Wolf, Wolfenstein, fucking whatever, fuck off. Um, Doom, the boomer, the definition of boomer shooter is more relevant than Halo nowadays. Halo is the boomer shooter. Um, and you're, you're not going to be able to regain that, um, that, like that, like that core pillar of like first person shooters in today's landscape. Um, with, with, if you're not going to add stuff and Halo five plays like a fucking dream. So if this is plays better than Halo five, fuck it. Hell yeah. Um, uh, I I don't care for maybe some of like the mission design and and nonsense whatnot in Halo One. That's kind of like a product of its time. As long as this plays great, I'm happy. Yeah. Someone, I remember really enjoying Halo Four when it came out, and um, remembering just that, and actually really enjoying the uh, anniversary edition. That I know what people love to say. Oh no, they ruined it. They ruined it. They ruined it. Like over and over and over again. Um. Die Hard Bungie Halo fans will have this weird fucking habit of just they're 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 like they're like Pokemon fans that aren't really Pokemon fans. They will just find a lot of things to get mad about and complain about that make no fucking sense to anyone who can actually read or I mean not to insult people who are illiterate, but just like who can actually read or form a cohesive thought or sentence. They just will find something and latch on to be like, well, that's why it sucks. And it sucks, even though I didn't play it because I don't play shitty games. It, that being said, I haven't played five, so I can't speak on five, but I lo- enjoyed four a lot. It, it's funny, Blaine, you say that because I remember I played through all the campaigns for the first time because I, I, I only played through Halo for the multiplayer. So I, I starting like last July, last August, I, me, a friend and I have been playing through it. We played through every single one. We just finished them. We just finished five like a few months ago, and I remember when I got to four after finishing Reach, which I I think is like the best Halo game. It's a masterpiece on both multiplayer. Thank you. And single player I'd agree with you in a Thank lot of ways. You. 
It, it, Hell it's, it, yeah. it's, it's like my favorite uh, shooter of this decade. It's it's a masterpiece of console shooter design. So when I started four and I saw that it was like this really bad Call of Duty campaign clone, I immediately turned on three four three and was like, "All right, now I can see why people hate this company. <laughs> I can see why people hate because I did not like that design." But then when I played five, I'm like, mm-hmm. "All right, now they kind of yeah. turned around. Now they're like, they want you back." Exactly. Oh That's my exactly god! How I feel. Halo Five That's is exactly so good. How I feel. Like, hey, look, I mean, Jose, like last night, Jose and then Robin and I were, were playing five. And it, again, every time I go back to it, I'm like, modern shooters will never like feel as good as this game. Even like Titanfall 2, even Doom, even even like one of my favorite games, Modern Warfare 2019, like nothing feels quite as good as Halo and it, 5. And it came out like six years ago and nothing has stopped it. Oh, my God. No, it's it's still my favorite Xbox One game. Like there's nothing I turn like Game it. Pass back on. I'm going to have to play through the series again and get to that one. Hell yeah. yeah! Yeah. Oh, it's so rewarding too. I don't care about the story. I still don't know what's going on. But man, I, I, well, I, well, you I, see, humans were actually a civilization long before what we could per, what the, we the suit, temporarily the consider the suit, human civilization. The suit all cast reset. That's <laughs> all I know is that Nathan Fillion's there. I want, I, Buck, I, I want no, Buck no. to have his own game. And the also, and the woman from uh, Battlestar Galactica. Right. Yeah. We, we got to uh, move on, but uh, his suit does not jack him off. Just just yes. to put it out. Oh there. my god. <laughs> Uh, fuck. Where, where, where are my notes? Uh, da, 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 da. Jose, wait, I'm oh, sorry. Man. And one more when, uh, to all of you guys. I want to ask this question because it was weird. Is it weird that they didn't end the show in Halo? Um, what did they end it I on mean, again? It was um the, the arcane game, the, the new. Oh arcane. yeah, Th- that that was a weird choice to me. Yeah, yeah. Not you, I, really, because I, I know Microsoft probably knew that people were watching that for Halo. So they wanted to give people what they were watching that for. They're like, we're not going to make people wait until the end. Mm-hmm. Because I think that's, for Halo. I, also, that's I think that's counterintuitive. I also think that I uh, will personally, I think that um, Halo Infinite was a known quantity at that point as well. And yeah. um, uh, you definitely want to end with a pop and seeing a couple shots of multiplayer of a game that was already supposed to be out isn't necessarily the best way to end the conference in my opinion yeah yeah plus they didn't show anything from the campaign say for that one cutscene. and granted all we at the end of this thing was like a cg trailer if you're going to do your whole and by the way we have one more thing for you like yeah like it makes more sense to do the one more thing show something nobody's seen before it should have been trying to build a little bit of hype for that that one more thing should have been fucking banjo i'm pissed should have been blink because also it shows (laughs) off the fact that microsoft's getting like uh an exclusive arcane title when yeah. our game's so well known for Prey and for Dis- Dishonor. Them yeah, and not, hey, this is going to be the first arcane, arcane title that they've started developing solely under Microsoft, right? Yeah. yeah. So, that so then, yeah, it makes sense to end, end it with it. With yeah. yeah. All right, we, we got to get going. Uh, da, 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 where the fuck are we? I keep scrolling down for some reason. We don't get to Square Enix. I'm going to demand we add like another yes, hour on yeah, this we, podcast. We, we, we yeah. might have to add some time. Uh, so so we need to start you on quick fast. Me, I'm, I'm going to go get that demo right now. Yes, quick fast. Uh, oh, Redfall. It is a vampire shooter by Arcane Studios. I love Arcane, everything they've done. Mm. I'm Sport super down for it. It, it's, it is not a immersive sim, which is typically what they're known for. It's going to be more on the... Um, just action, yeah, basically Borderlands side. Mm-hmm. Um, Gotta do oh, they're, all, they're also doing bird. they're also doing Deathloop, which I think is launching as a PS5 exclusive. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah, and then they're, they're tied and to that contract yeah. and whatnot. Um, yeah, looks cool. A little bit out of uh, your typical wheelhouse, but I'm confident that's going to be good because Arcane is good. Even if it's just a CG trailer, that I haven't been. This at like oh damn I actually think I really need to play this about like an arcane game since Prey and even though everybody knows I don't like Prey 2017 anymore, um that original CG trailer had that effect of just holy shit what is this I need to play this like this looks like that to me this this right. just gives me a, I need to know what's mm-hmm. going on here. Uh, let's see Diablo two got a release date uh September twenty third twenty twenty one. The Let's fucking go. balls! Hey, guess what? Console exclusivity, or or early, or whatever it's gonna be. Like it's that. Just I, mean, I don't like Activision Blizzard. Y'all know that. Fucking god damn! Swinging that massive Game Pass dick and that massive exclusivity dick. Wait, just is it? Is it? I don't. Is it exclusive I, tax? Tax? I don't think so. It's not. I'd have to check. I don't believe I'll so. No. Wasn't that the first announcement of it being on consoles, or am I mistaken? 
No, they already said when they first revealed it at BlizzCon last year that it's coming out on X Xbox and the next gen Xbox, PlayStation and the next gen PlayStation. Oh well, I'm a dumbass then. Never mind. Yeah, but no, that's, no mention that's of the, it. But the fact that Microsoft scored the release date trailer is super interesting to me because Microsoft yes. never advertised a Blizzard thing ever, so it's very interesting. I was technically right about the dick swinging. Then continue. Yes, go. Game break game break too. Damn. Sorry. Yes, it is coming out on Switch. Uh, Diablo 3 on the Switch is very good. Um, Stalker 2, April 28th, 2022. Um, I hope the entire it, game is in Russian. It looks it, like it's going to be. It's, uh, honestly, the best... Okay, I'll, I'll get to that part after. Uh, but yeah, basically, if you like Metro, this is Metro, except without as much radiation and uh, post-apocalypse monsters and whatnot. Um, I'm, I'm kind of split on the voice acting thing in, in Metro in particular where I think it is the more authentic experience if you do play it um, with, with subs, you know, with uh, actual Russian voice acting. But on the other hand, I'm a sucker for dumb uh, Russian accents wanna, in English. Also, I want to play the game. Uh, it, it, can be, it can be hard to play a game while reading sometimes. There's, been, there's a <laughs> couple, couple boss fights near Automata made it a little, a little difficult, so... But yeah, I would kinda, like... Oh, sorry, my son. You go. On. Yeah, I was gonna say I've 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 elected to more play these games oh, uh, in English, despite me wanting to play with the oh. more authentic. You know, what? because voices. of that specifically, I'm gonna jump around to something they showed later. Uh, Yakuza, uh, like a dragon's coming to Game Pass. They, <laughs> they played it in English. Well, it's already on what Game the? Pass. It wasn't on Game Pass before. No, not so. Well, I'm just not. saying today it was like it's oh, yeah, now yeah. literally yeah. on Game Pass. Um. They played the English version. It was fucking gross. It was not yeah, really it was weird. Me off. I, I, it was really weird. Weird. I, I, I played it. the entire series it with uh, with subs and just no. You, you have to. Still though, now you can play the entire literally. Yeah, but the how, how, how are you gonna series. after dumping like three hundred plus hours in that franchise? How am I just gonna swap to English? You're not gonna like, swap. Exactly. You just click English that. in the menu. Like I, I fucking did hate when you. I played like a dragon. How can you say fine. that while you see I, you do vibrations in your throat look, and they come out as audible sounds that we yeah, recognize like, as a culture? PJ, it's okay. You, you, you chose the wrong choice. It's okay. No, I chose the right <laughs> choice because the way they swear in that game is so much funnier in English. I love it. It's like a name oh, yeah. that came up with like the things that they say like cum dumpster whatever bullshit i loved it i thought it was oh the funniest thing in the world <laughs> um, i don't want to leave nothing. i just heard that the english dub wasn't that bad <sighs> i'll we'll have that discussion another time because there's not enough time in this podcast remaining um i just want to go back to stalker really quick like i i as far as the whole like language discussion of well should it be this should it be that i think we have enough games that purport themselves as the default language being english i mean even point and po- point and point in order or whatever like a lot of the advertising for Yakuza 7 in the West was so centered around the English dub. And I'm jokes aside, I'm not trying to talk shit about people for enjoying an English dub, regardless of my opinion of it. I, I think we, we it is better to see something honestly showing like, hey, this is a game that takes place in Russia. We're going to show the trailer in Russian because that makes sense. And that is how it would be happening if you were actually seeing like this or whatever. Um, the only thing I really have to say, aside from I really would love to see some more like actual... Actual gameplay, not so much like either heavily scripted or just like we can't really tell if it's scripted or if it's CG pretending to be gameplay. Um, I also would like to know. Uh, this is, a, I guess, a comment on what Jose was saying. I don't know if it's fair to say that it will. It's it's you can just expect Metro, but but a different like game because while I haven't played the original Stalker games, I know that those were like a little more complicated. And I guess the Metro games, yeah, it's like, it's like, like you have Stalker, really you have Metro the middle ground, then you have more straightforward. With, without stuff. trying to say it like I, ironically or unironically, whatever, it, it was, it, the Stalker was considered like a PC gamer's like hard capital G gamer's experience. Yeah. And, and, and the more, more so the reason Not I, I, use, I use Metro as a comparison is because Stalker is predominant. Um, I, don't, I don't believe there's been a console version. I could be, I could be wrong on that. No, I don't, I don't think there ever think has. There has been. The, yeah. the epitome of Eurojank. Yeah. Like ba- it's based off some like old least, like Russian film too. Uh, yeah, it's not a novel, uh, right? It might have Euro Jake, but at least it'll be on PSN. It's based off <laughs> of a novel that's that had a adapted. Russian yeah. movie from the forties. I actually watched a bit of it when I was in film film school. Um, and then they made the game that I think is based more off of the novel than the movie. 
Yeah. And it's like the one thing that confuses me is that I always saw Stalker as like a simulation style game because I because I have the first one. It's always on sale on Steam, so I bought it. But this one showed like weird radiation monsters, and I never thought that Stalker had like radiation monsters in it. I feel like I did see monsters in some footage somewhere, or well, at least an implication of that. I swear the first game had like bigger like animals, like radiated animals. I yeah, 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 yeah. Was being, like radiated like. Cthulhu faced people. Or, or, <laughs> yeah, that's or maybe just even more so like the combat that they showed off in the trailer like is against humans, whereas Metro is like you get in some ridiculous ass shit with monsters in there. Yeah. I know uh, I know there's some people who are like they're wary of like if it like it, the base I've there's a bit I've seen people, I think like uh Steven Kick and Dave Oshry were saying like, you know, like if this if it turns out the whole the metroness that people are gleaming off of this is kind of just based on a scripted trailer and that the game itself is gonna be more freeform then that's cool if it only has you being this whole like straightforward shooter with sometimes other things like slight rpg elements that it's not going to feel like a true sequel to that series and, and this is i'm repeating what they're saying only because i don't have the experience of this series to make a definitive judgment so i'm just trying to share the knowledge of what i've heard people who i know are like into those classic games and are still not like shitheads about things now mm-hmm. i mean thankfully it's going to be on game pass which instantly had me yeah saying out loud it, i'm going yeah. to try this <laughs> and regardless like the fact that i don't have connection to the old games really like it looks cool also it i just want to say jose i heard your little remark there about well at least it's on psn you know that's not very nice that's not very fair pathologic 2 is on psn i don't know what you're yeah. talking about i was i was talking about cyberpunk i know you were <laughs> i mean i will say game pass got me to try pathologic when i would have never played that yeah so i'm i know i'm gonna try Docker, even though I've only played, I think, like 10 minutes of the first one, and mm-hmm. I was very confused. Right. Also, uh, let's, uh, let's be fair. I wonder how it's going to work. On Game, Game Pass didn't get yeah. you to try to try uh, Pathologic. I got you to try Pathologic. You did. Actually, H-Bomber I, guy did. But I wouldn't have tried it I if guess it wasn't on Game Pass. That's true. I I'm sorry, Jose. Alright, we got yeah, we gotta move I wonder, on. I wonder um, how those the studio's games will work on console, just because it's the type of game that you press Y on your keyboard to check the time on your watch. Metro did a pretty uh, just, damn good job of it. Yeah, so I'm confident. a bunch of buttons for kind of superfluous things to do. So a, a, a lot of weapon wheels and toggles and slow mo. Mm-hmm. Damn you, weapon wheel! <laughs> um, Contraband. It's a game by Just Cause developer Avalanche Studios. It they didn't like show it much. Really it is apparently open world and co op, and it it's on Game Pass. Big, that's that's all we know. Like yeah. Steel. What, what did you say? Up. What did you say, Sarah? I said it looks like a thief's thing. Yeah, like here for it. That's why I was like, I was like, is it basically yeah, payday it but open world? And like actually grabbing like physical things, like, like yeah, instead of just cash and, like, mm-hmm. and perhaps like bosses. Like I'm just like I'm here. I'm here for yeah. stealing stuff. I'm I'm here for the Kleptomania simulator. Let's go. Yeah, I'm interested to see more about it, but it's another one of those like it's just a CG trailer yeah. with bare well, bones, I mean, it's like whatever. It is. So we can kind of guess what you're getting into with like just just cause and stuff. I'm, mm-hmm. ex- I'm expecting, or at least like the tone we know will not be serious. I need grappling hooks and tying cars to freeways and seeing them do the yep. thing from Fast Five I mean, where they're just slamming into other cars. There's nothing saying that there won't be grappling hooks in it. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I get that money better somehow. than just cause four. Then everything will be okay. <laughs> Um, uh, Outer Worlds two. Um, next gen that, only. That trailer was funny. That by trailer Obsidian. was funny. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's by Obsidian. As, as first one was. Um, yeah, first one was really good. My only complaint with the first one was that this was bef- like it was. It was pretty much done by the time Microsoft acquired them. So you can kind of tell it was made on a budget. The the areas were pretty small. The hub areas were small. It was very like limited in scope. So now that they have. Yeah. Uh, uh, Papa Bill Gates' money, um, as does his mistress, um, they, they should be able to expand from there. Got that Epstein it, uh, money. It also has Fallout <laughs> face, like, zoom-in syndrome, for when you zoomed in on people's faces, they just wouldn't blink, and they just stare at you. But that's, like, every RPG, isn't it? Like, it has, like, yeah. a, like that's that weird all, RPG that's is kind of a standard. That gives me anxiety. <laughs> when people just stare at you. And also, I, it had, like, yeah. It, yeah was, I, it was fun. It was Outer Worlds cool. 1 was pretty good. Uh, I imagine the second one will be just as good, if not better. Uh, as I've already had a good time <laughs> while I played it. <laughs> as a lot of people, <laughs> as a lot of people have said, um, 
uh, as a lot of people have said, like it is definitely one of the most honest CG trailers I've ever seen. Literally, with the whole like you know we're gonna tell you exactly why this is, and you know that. I will admit though, if it wasn't Obsidian making that kind of joke, I have a feeling that I and a lot of others would just be like, "This is stupid." Like if Gearbox made a trailer like that, we'd be saying, "This is oh, fucking fuck Gearbox like that." <laughs> yeah. like on, on Twitter, like, I, fuck I'm, Gearbox. <laughs> I'm confident that the development team behind Outer Worlds uh, does significantly less cocaine. <laughs> yeah, or going to medieval times for that matter. Yeah, talking about less magic tricks. <laughs> <laughs> the magic trick, bro! I swear. Oh my god, Jesus Christ! Um, ah, Sea of Thieves, uh, v- very suitingly, is getting uh, Pirates of the Caribbean crossover with uh, yeah. um, with uh, D- okay, Jack Okay, but Sparrow. it kind of makes me want to play Sea of Thieves. <laughs> It did oh, not make me want to play Sea of Thieves. I love Sea of Thieves. I love playing Sea of Thieves with my friends. It's great. I like have it, not played it. I'm... It honestly looks very fun. And mm. I also saw a very happy crab in that trailer. Mm. There, my... like, there was like a little very happy crab. My so only you, problem with Robin Sea of Thieves... To get on. I'll, I'll, I'll do it. With uh, Sea of Thieves is kind of the... The, the, uh, the fact that there's no real progression... And you just kind of do things. It's great for like an hour, and then you just you're kind of done. Well, now you can do uh, things. Are we talking about Jack Destiny Sparrow or Sea of Thieves? His Grinch fingers. He's got them. They're made, like they modeled them specially for you. Yeah. Sorry, yeah, the Stranger uh, Paradise great. demo downloaded. Hope it's not broken. Mm. Uh, let's see. I I've I not played. The show. I have not played the first game. Uh, Psychonauts 2 looks good. The biggest note mm. I have for this, I didn't realize Rasputin's voice actor is the same dude that does Invader Zim, so anything That's, with that yep. voice actor is pure of gold. I'm going I'm to play it because, oh, yeah. purely because his, of that. His <laughs> talent has not diminished. He's just gotten better and better at his craft. Like I, Okay, mm. so before when we were like, people were like, what was it? People were like, oh, people were hate, or Souls fans are mad because they have to wait two years for a Souls game. I'm just like, bitch, I have been waiting 16 years for a Psychonauts 2. That game, while ending pretty definitively, still ended also on a thing of like, hey, by the way, we can do so much more and we want to. And they never mm-hmm. did because mm-hmm. nobody wanted to give them money. And now they have the money and it looks exactly like what it should be. Yep. Like more mm-hmm. Psychonauts, but with a bigger budget with more polish. Hell yeah. Finish the first it's going to be a 4K GameCube game, and that's exactly <laughs> what it is. Exactly. Hell yeah, that's me. Oh, yeah. that's You're going to have collectibles again. The figments are in it. <laughs> You're going to have five different kinds of collectibles, and you know your ass oh. is going to have to go back to those levels <laughs> to find them because of progression blockers, just like in the original game. So we'll I check th- on Ballad Wonderworld. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I think this is the best thing that uh, Tim Schafer could have done for that studio was was go with Microsoft. Mm-hmm. Instead of doing another mm-hmm. couple million Kickstarters. Especially because <laughs> a lot of their older games, because what, like um, uh, Full Throttle, uh, Day of the Tentacle, and, and what's the other one I'm thinking of? Grim Fandango. Uh, and Grim Fandango all got Game Pass releases, which just means more people are going to play those classics. Um, I actually need to play all of those. I've played little tiny bits of French Grim Fandango. I've looked at stuff from the other two. I know I need to play them. Um, yeah, I, I, I am so glad that, like, Again, I hate I hate corporations. They're not your friend. I really do love though that Double Fine gets to have this benefit of like, okay, we got Microsoft money. We can just make cool shit again. Yeah. What, what do you mean corporations Microsoft, aren't our friends? Elon Elon yeah. likes cat girls. Well, hold so on. Sarah, what are you saying? That, yeah, the fact that Microsoft bought these studios, but they're staying really hands off and just being like, here's the money to make what you want to make. Yes, fuck big, big like corporations, but good on Microsoft for not doing like a hostile hostile mm-hmm. takeovers of these, yeah. of these companies and just being like hey we know you want to make this, this this thing or like how uh they're doing with the ninja theory hey we we know you want to make this studio based around making games around the subject that you didn't think anybody wanted here's all the money in the world to uh d- do so and we're not going to touch any anything that you make we're just going to publish mm-hmm. it Here's the exact here's opposite approach to compared to like EA, which was literally money. just like we're gonna slowly make everything just make Call of Duty because that. Yeah, makes it's money. good on Microsoft for I knowing to stay hands 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 off for just being mm-hmm. like, hey, you guys want to make what you want to make? Here's the money to do so. It just has to be on Game Pass. It has to be Xbox exclusives. So it's like, uh, and really quick before we're done with 
Microsoft two indie games that we didn't see that I was very sad about. Nothing about Scorn, other just than the confirmation it's still coming out this yeah. year, which I don't believe because no offense, but that development team is very small and they're very like, we're gonna make this right or we're not gonna put it out at all. So I don't think we're getting that game this year, but we saw nothing of it. And Microsoft's like billing that as one of their top indies that's releasing on Game Game Pass and nothing on Hellblade 2. Which Weird. again, they I'm- can take their time. I I want them to take their time both studios just really surprising that microsoft didn't show off hellboy 2 and it was the first series x exclusive game that they showed <laughs> were you gonna I'm, say I'm, i mostly hear about scorn because of easy allies they, they pr- <laughs> yes oh my god those it's, it's ads hate- all throughout 2016 2017 <laughs> score and uh what is it the the textiles <laughs> the, the gothic horror the tapestry again good on Microsoft for giving these studios like tiny oh, yeah. studios yeah. money and just being like, hey, your game's a weird HR Geiger love love letter when the ground squelches when you step on it. Here's two million dollars. It, <laughs> it's it's a hell of a <laughs> shift from uh, the Don Matrick years. I I think Absolutely. Xbox should be very proud of how they're handling these acquisitions and how they're giving people creative leeway and allowing them to delay as needed. Um, Through it's, me it's, it's all a portfolio now with Game Pass. That's that's their thing. no yeah. What threw me about that was just was like when they got to the end and we we're like, we've talked about all these games. We've talked about 30 games and we're going to talk about more. And when Scorn was on that list, my brain just went like, wait, did I did, was there a Scorn trailer? And I just somehow didn't notice it. And then no, like I realized, no, team. they just posted that it's still coming out. We got to blaze through these. Is I know. very not quiet, but they like to stay silent until they ha- actually have something to show. That's um, what that's what I kind of figured following that game for so long is they're that type of team where we're not going to show something new unless it's substantial. And we'll pay for the advertising. Game- <laughs> well, well, especially when a game like that is so centered around like people are playing that specifically for the aesthetic, the art design, the environment. It, it, not really so much like and not necessarily the the actual plot. If that makes yeah. any sense. That team uh, started, if I remember, as a five-person team, and they're now up to, like, 20 people, so, like, give them man. time, please. <laughs> uh, all right, we, we gotta yeah, move okay, on. I'm sorry. Uh, it's all good. Uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator, finally coming to console. Uh, probably a good thing, because it's really demanding on PC, and doesn't work mm-hmm. for a decent amount of people. That's uh, another is, thing I wanted, but I'm really happy, because I have people want it. I wish, I hope. <laughs> my, be a my, in the middle of the earth. In my deepest wishes and dreams, I will play that game if the if I will buy an Xbox to play that game if the sinkhole exists. I can't wait to get drunk and fly into my house. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. Um, also, they're da, 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 da. adding military planes? That's confusing, but okay. Age of Empires 4 coming October 28th, 2021. I don't have any cool. experience with that franchise. Yeah, looks- I do. Cool. Um, I really liked Age of Empires 2. I had it on the original Windows 95 PC that I got as a hand-me-down from my stepbrother. Um, and I figured out how if you beat the tutorial and you don't have the disc, you can bypass the the disc lock, the disc requirement or whatever, and you could just play the whole game, And mean, which means they lied to you. They didn't actually need the game to play it. It was all yeah. on your PC the whole time. Yeah. Um, I think it looks really good. It looks like Age of Empires, but modern, and I actually couldn't, because I never played 3, I I couldn't believe how like much it just looked like the same games I was used to, but better. Do you, do we know if that's a Game Pass title? PC for sure. I don't know about if it's coming to consoles or not. Okay. No, but it's a, yeah, it's a Game Pass PC like launch. Okay, I would be surprised if it didn't come to consoles. Uh, uh, with Age of Empires, uh, sorry, Jose. That I that, I do just want to say this. with Age of Empires is tricky because that is never, as far as I know, it's never been on consoles, and it's okay. It's a difficult thing to bring like something like that to consoles, and uh, you'd have to really work at it. Not it I, might maybe later though. Sorry, well, Jose. Go for on. what it's worth, they they totally have uh, mouse and keyboard compatibility on Xbox, so that's probably an easier work. Well, in the, in the grand scheme of things, relatively easy workaround for yeah. as far as like inputs, um, shit goes. <laughs> um, da, 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 Doom Eternal going to Game Pass, next gen upgrades with ray tracing, or you can select performance up to 120. I think they said. Yes. Um, also coming to Game Pass are is the Evil Within 2, Rage, Fallout, Fallout 2, Fallout 3, Fallout Tactics, Dishonored, Arx, Fatalis. Oh, I don't remember what that is. <laughs> uh, Fallout 76 is getting uh, Steel Rain DLC and Expeditions of Pit is coming in 2022. Does anyone care about 76? No, I'm happy mm. for the people who do care and that game runs now. I'm happy for yeah. them. <laughs> Don't care. I, 
I'm really interested in the fact that they're. I did not expect them to put Fallout One, Two, and Tactics on PC Game Pass. Not because like they couldn't, but just because I was almost thinking like, are they, is there going to be? Do they maybe think there's no market for that? Just because of big corporate thinking, but I guess not. And I think that's really cool that people, are, more people, are going to be able to play those classic games. Um, mm-hmm. What was weird for me is I feel like because I noticed like Rage was on Game Pass, I think at one point, and then got taken off, didn't it? Rage I two so. was not the original. Before, yeah, Rage two was before the yeah, acquisition. Was on there before the acquisition. Like it was like Rage two was on there before the uh, the micro. Doom and Doom Doom one was before and then got taken off, right? And now it's yeah. going back on. For what it's worth, Rage one isn't that great. Mm-mm. Play Rage two, Quite which also isn't that it. great. Yeah, Rage two isn't that great. It's like the equivalent of like junk food. Yeah. <laughs> not it. Rage two, not as bad as the first, but still not great. Just, just play that mad, that that mad, mad Max game. That was yeah, the one by Avalanche. Yeah, that, uh, that has problems, but it's a way better game from what I remember. Instead of playing Rage Two, just play Mad Max and then play Doom Eternal. You get both of them, but like, <laughs> like way better. I was very surprised that uh, Fallout seventy six is apparently one of the most popular games on Game Pass. They didn't like put statistics out there. Like, or like, I don't actual, know whether I believe that. <laughs> I think you would actually be surprised. A lot of people fucking love 76. They do. I, it's I don't, a service game, no? That's like, why. Yeah. I yeah. won that game. What? Games. I said I won that game. <laughs> it was a contest at my old job, and I won that game and played it once. I was like, wow. Did you really win? Again. <laughs> That's a good point. That's a fair point. I, I didn't feel like a winner. Made, made, made you wish for a nuclear winner. You I remember weird. all the excited people because I because I was a game oh, yeah. when that game came out, and just everyone was so hyped. I get to play Fallout with my friends, and then three days later, trading it in. Every, everyone was able to then see through the veil and realize, <laughs> no, oh no, it's not a feature; it is a bug. Oh, it was terrible. That was the worst time. It just and then works. corporate made a ship back sixty copies of it. We had to pack up sixty copies of it. Oh, my God, it was terrible. I, man. I will that say, from playing it after they like quote-unquote fixed a lot like it was definitely a more enjoyable experience but if it wasn't free i probably or at least like 20 bucks i probably never would have played it and i I don't have much desire to play it still i think that's why it ballooned was like specifically because of game pass yeah um i sure as hell never would have fucking played it uh to move on elder scrolls online getting a console enhancement that's about it uh i'm actually excited about this next one party animals it's basically gang beast Ooh. but it doesn't run like ass and you can actually connect to people is that so, from the same developers because no, i know I, 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 I checked it it's not interesting which is, which is weird because the animations look like on fucking no, point so so I maybe it's the same people like they made a different yeah. studio because maybe. it looks that's exactly like gang beasts but yeah, uh, Gang Beast, oh, fuck Gang Beast, uh, Party Animals, which is basically Gang Beast 2, looks pretty damn good. It's going to be a good party game. Good drunk game. Uh, oh, yeah. Other forms of inebriation and whatnot. Uh, Hades is coming to Game Pass. That's cool. Um, really? I still haven't beat it all the way. I beat it one time. I still haven't played well, it's it. Coming, uh, not from it. I keep forgetting it's coming to, it up, to so. Xbox and PlayStation. I have seen yeah. the light. I'm playing it on Switch. <laughs> and I am. I am on main. It. Like my cousin bought it for me, and I still haven't started. I feel bad. Well, see, that studio does not make bad games, even though I haven't been able to even. I have never been able to beat uh, Transistor. My God, before. do it, uh, please! Transistor is my know, favorite game by the. Backlog is too big. There's a button. It's not a backlog. It's a collection. Uh, Ew. That that will shift your uh, your attitude towards your towards your uh, supposed backlog. You'll embrace it. Uh, uh, Plague Tale Requiem, Plague Tale Two, basically. Um, I'm stupidly excited for this. They didn't show too much in the trailer. It's just kind of like a tease for the story. Bunch of rats. Right. Um, ma- ma- many rats. World not, not... War is the wave of rats. Um, that first game is like one of my favorite games from 2019 like like if you take like i I think i was talking about uh alan wake in the same regard where if you take like any specific element like out of context it's it's probably not that great in of itself but when you combine everything whether it's the narrative the pacing the gameplay the way each of your verbs kind of like intermingle with one another with different uh factors and variables in the environment it creates like the tightest fucking game i've played in a fucking really long time so I, I'm super excited for a sequel. 
Plus, probably playing uh, Plague Tale 1 in the middle of a pandemic might have been a bad idea, but it was cool. I played Pathologic 2 in the middle of the pandemic, and boy, that was cathartic in the worst way. I, I had to stop <laughs> playing Days Gone in the middle of the pandemic, because I almost cried. I'm like, yeah, I can't do it. I can't do it. Did we all play different, really bad idea games to play in the middle of a pandemic? I played Resident Evil 3, and that game starts with a bunch of news stories about a pandemic. <laughs> I, I, was, I remember in Days Gone, there's a scene where, like, guys in hazmat suits were, like, que- uh, queuing up people, Ooh. and I'm like, oh, here in Florida, we just got those checkpoints. Yeah, I'm not going to play yeah. this game. <laughs> I'm not playing this game. Uh, let's see. Slime Rancher 2, Xbox exclusive, never really played Ooh. the first one. It's so good. I'm so excited. It looks cool. I, I know nothing about it, so I'm yeah, happy for I, people that are happy. You throw slimes in pens, and it makes bigger slimes. That's cute. They're so cute. Uh, Atomic cute. Heart looks. Um, is that yeah? Atomic Heart looks pretty cool. It's a uh, it's a sci fi shooter with a lot of robots and psychic powers, but yeah. not much of a story. But it definitely going like to keep Bioshock an eye out for it with, without like the bad politics. Yeah, it looks they, like Bioshock and Singularity have, almost. The uh, I have not played. Have come out and said that Bioshock was an inspiration. I can't wait for the game to both sides me. Uh, oh, the protesters were just as bad. Think about it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh. Um, replaced uh, Game Pass Xbox exclusive. It's it's that, that two cool. point it's that, that two point so five D cool. game. It's got the cyberpunk uh, kind of yeah. like thriller aesthetic. Apparently cool. the uh, the uh, story of it they haven't said much, but it's about an AI being forced into a human body, and I'm just like, give me that cyberpunk shit. Let's go. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, I guess that's two cyberpunk games you can't buy on PSN. Well, because you can get it on Game Pass free. Because it's the Xbox. But I will exclusive. most likely buy it because it's <laughs> weird playing indies on Game Pass. I'd rather give them the money. Hey, I agree with that sentiment, even though I don't feel that weird about it because I'm just like, shit. I know that they got money for it being on Game Pass. But yeah, like I ended up buying Pathologic 2 on PSN before like it went off Game Pass just because I, wa- mm. I wanted to support them. And it looks good. The the 2.5D style, like I actually, my brain almost didn't register for a minute that it was 2.5D or whatever, or like 2D HD or whatever. Mm-hmm. Like you know, then when like the hotel thing where they were climbing it and the one, I was like, oh, these are like actually like fully rendered 3D backgrounds, but they're blending with the 2D. That's incredible. Oh, also CJ, if you need to cut out at any point since we're going a bit over, feel feel free You're to. Good. The beauty of unemployment means I don't have anything to do tomorrow morning. Our our our, uh, co- our code word is for you to just flip me off. That that'll be your code word for I got to do. That that's that's when I have to dip. Whatever. Are you saying like, that I've been typing messages in chat for no reason? What like? <laughs> <laughs> well, I was gonna say like, what if I wanted to flip you off just because I really wanted to? Like, is there any way I can do it without like it meaning I have to get off? Yeah, you have to dab first. Okay, you know what? Never mind then. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> um. Shit, uh, let's go through these. We want to, uh, The Ascent uh, comes out July 29th. It's on Game Pass. Uh, so this, not this month, next month. Uh, it's an oh, isometric yeah, that co-op neat. shooter. Yeah, it looks it reminds solid. me of uh, Alien Swarm. Yeah, like just some kind of dungeon crawler kind of, sort of, looks neat. <laughs> uh, let's, let's see. So I think that's about it for the Xbox showcase. We did, uh, what was it? Red, what was the uh, Redfield? No, that's Chris. Mm-hmm. Shit. Redfield, Redfall. I know it's Redfall. There we go. Redfall. Not Redfield. Yeah. It's back for yeah. blood. Colon the vampire version. Basically. <laughs> possibly. <laughs> and also possibly Borderlands. It's, it's Borderlands. It, back for blood. You got, Colin. Like you got a, Rainbow Six Siege. You got but. a sniper with a bird. You got a woman with powers. You got a turret. It's Borderlands. Oh my god, you're right. Edgar Edgar Allan Bro, which I'm here for. I mean, you have a little robot named Wavon, so I thought that was pretty fucking funny. Oh, it's named Wavon. I thought she, she keeps saying calling saying Wavon, so I don't know oh, if like no. that's I know, I know, I know. Oh, no. it's Jody, so I know. Wavon. I know, I know. Sorry, I just talked over <laughs> both of y'all. That was not very casual. It's all good. Right? Uh, Square Enix conference. I'm going to get some of the smaller stuff out of the mm-hmm. way, and then we'll go to the stuff. It's me and Sarah's time. Um, oh something like that. Uh, Legend of Mana coming to PS4, Switch, Steam on June 24th. Kind of, kind of weird that it's excluding Xbox, but you know, uh, JRPGs typically 
sell better on uh, Sony platforms. Uh, you, you forgot to mention that the Xbox is getting a JRPG. Don't remember the name of it. But oh yeah, telling me it's by the Euclidean something. The Suikoden creator. Yeah. Nice. Those um those also look really really good. I'm Sarah. I was gonna ask you, is that the fucking those those are the games that I was making fun of the developers for being cowards with their female monster designs? I like one is a big tiger know. man, and then one is like a tiny little tiger cat girl, and it's like, bitch, you could have made don't a buff. Remember? I think it's the same games, but either way, don't be cowards, uh, visual designers. Continue, Jose. Uh, there's an Avengers content roadmap. There's a free Wakanda, uh, sorry, Wakanda expansion and Black Panther coming out this summer. Um. That it game is played. Oh, that it's kind of that game's kind of dead to me. I never I'm played happy. it. Oh, I finished it. You're braver than I. Man, that, granted, I played it on PC. That that was a bad way to play it. That's a game. It's a game that came out. It's a game that I played. The game. This is true. It Such feels like it was canceled, but it still got released. That's how I feel about that game. Yeah, like, we shouldn't have been able to play it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's see, there's uh, Babylon's Fall. It's uh, developed by Platinum. It's a live service yeah. co-op action game, which is kind of out of left field for Platinum since they t- typically yeah. make character action games, single player yeah. and whatnot. Unfortunately, um, it seems like the combat, a lot, of, a lot of the combat seems to have got, seems to be less interesting now, too. It's I, I was going to ask y'all, like, because I've heard people talking about the fact that, like, the original trailer for it, like the reveal trailer and this, it almost feels like they completely shifted sensibilities at some point because yeah. it doesn't match mm-hmm. up. Because it wasn't a live service game before, and now it is. Yeah. I do like the arts, the art direction, though. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, it's I neat. Like it too. Mm-hmm. And a co-op action game does not sound bad. It's just... Platinum makes pretty games. Yeah, they do. Um, Life is Strange remastered coming out September thirtieth, twenty twenty one. Yes, um, they showed cool. off. They showed off some gameplay of True Colors, kind of like showing like in depth how yeah. her uh, her empath powers will work. How yeah. you're interacting, so, some story details of uh, I won't say who, but I, I don't care. Is, is trailers spoilers? No, yeah. trailers aren't spoilers. Her, her brother's dead, trying to like unravel why it happened. Some of them, some kind of intrigue, mystery, and whatnot. Yeah, but it's it's, it's gonna it's gonna be cool that there's like a specific emphasis like on going into people's psyches, um, like like super delving into it. They also specifically said find out the supernatural mystery haunting the town, so this is gonna have like supernatural elements to it. Super. I'm warming up more to that game. I know I was a little critical when I first played it, and um, I think I even said on Twitter how like I think I was being too hard in it, but like. I, I am really interested in this whole like empathy power thing. I yeah. I was already. I'm even more excited the fact that they've shown you more now how um how that works. Sarah, I, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, no, I just want to say really, really quick, because I've seen a lot of people comment on the trailer. That's like the hideous superpower. As someone who is a empath, like a very intense empath, people calling that shitty and not realizing like what empaths deal with on a daily basis basis i really want to throw hands sorry you can't rewind time again because they wanted to make a different game with a different approach to a power to be fair do you do you solve a town's hidden mysteries in a supernatural fashion i want to but i just get really pissed when people around me are angry and trust me i ain't a fan i mean sarah i mean sarah could probably solve a supernatural mystery if she had some teammates enough time and if a murder is involved i most likely could but it's it's just it makes me really pissed that people see see something that people like there are people who, who are at pads and deal with it on like a daily basis and instantly call it a shitty superpower. Like that just like seeing multiple people say that made me very angry. Made me really yeah, Jose, it's like um what you and I were talking about. So like Life is Strange too, I haven't finished it yet, but like those first thirty minutes have like affected me more than any game I've ever played. Oh. Because I was able because I saw like, oh sweet, they're showing what it's like to be the kid of an immigrant, like in this pure and like wonderful like way. Mm-hmm. Um and how fast that can be ripped from you. Um and Jose and I were talking about like, you know, Oh yeah, people probably bitch and moan that it's like, why are the races so cartoony? It's like, yeah, that's what it's like being a Latino in uh mm-hmm. in, in the United States. Like, so I, I get it. Like, yeah, it, 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 people don't know. <laughs> um, I, I'm very excited for this game. I really am. I warmed up. Have you guys played um, uh, Twin Mirror? No, yeah, yeah, like, was it was it good? Nadia? Um, I, re- I reviewed it highly. I liked it. I think it's because what it, it's like one game. It's not multiple episodes. Um, what what I liked about it is that very few games will, you know, look like a movie in that like okay they're gonna sh- they're, the the cinematography is like 
from you shot from different angles. You know, the dialogue's mm-hmm. very good. The, the the use of incidental music is like perfect. Um, it, it it's a solid game that that I, I i really dug and i think i liked i think if you go on metacritic for the ps4 version i'm like the highest score <laughs> like i oh, put shit. that i they got the highest score there um it's a solid game and i'm excited i still have to play tell me why which is on game pass also but i'll Please figure out me, i i never why got a... is one of my favorite games of last year it is it's I beautiful play. i think the way that they released it was one of the smartest moves ever which was just weekly instead of just like waiting like months they were like, oh, here is episode one. Episode two comes out next week on Friday. Episode three comes out the other week on yeah. Friday. Like, it literally was the best. And I will say what that studio does. Because, like, kind of what Team uh, Ninja Theory did with Hellblade. Seeing a game that handles something that doesn't normally get handled in games, such as Empath. Yeah. Empathy is, and putting it in a way where they're still teaching people about it. But also showing, like showing it in this like supernatural light being able to but like like basically taking what empathy and empaths actually are but making it in like a weird supernatural sort of realistic way to me is incredibly cool and i think it's going to teach people like kind of what the hellblade did you see what it feels like how how some of your friends are like oh like, yeah, you see how, how that person's angry and how she felt angry because of that? Like, that's how I feel when people are sad or people are depressed around me. I'm going to feel that. Like, I just think what what they do with the entire Life is Strange franchise is incredibly, and I think they've learned as the games have gone on, including Tell Me Tell me Why. And I don't know if Twin Mirror covers anything. Twin Mirror is more, yeah, it's nothing. It, what, what, okay. what, it's not as like, it, what is it? There's no emotional concept okay. to it there's no it, what, what, it, what it mostly deals it's a very straightforward detective uh, story which i love and i okay. look for anything about journalists too so it's like all right um uh, but quick. It, sorry go oh, ahead uh, you, you can you can finish yeah no, i'm just saying like it, it's it's different it's not it, it's not it's 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 not about like young people it's not about like these emotional connections that young people have nor is it about dealing with like some sort of adversary adverse yeah. adversity it's very straightforward and it's in its approach go ahead Isaac. um I'll do I'll do one aside and then we have a question then we'll move on. Um more white people need to play uh Life is Strange 2 specifically. Yes. Play yeah, it yes. to fucking entirety and don't get mad at it, just fucking absorb it and see what the fuck it's like. I need You're mad I, at I, it. I've been You're wanting the... to play it. I've been wanting to play it and I just I just I just haven't. I want my Xbox set up. I'll when I when I close that when we when we figure that out, I'll I'll, I'll that's one of the ones I I hardcore will play. I, I wanted. I've been wanting to play it for a while. I God, I've never really cried good. at a game more than I did, and it, nothing bad. It, happened. it fucking it got to me. Oh my God! Uh, we 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 have a question for you in chat, Mesa. I've been meaning to get to. You. Um, Jay Newbie uh, asks: Is Mesa playing a flute in his still image? I mean, it could be taking a fat ass rip of a vape pen, but I like to think he's practicing his snake charming flute, charming that buttercup. Get the cheese buttercup. Oh yes. Uh, what what are you doing in that picture? It's, it's just, just a recorder. recorder. Just having fun with the record. I got um, it was me practicing my <laughs> with my um, with my lights, and I was like, you know, let let me do something. Let me do something while I'm practicing these lights, and I played. <laughs> I play, I think I played. I think I played um, sadness and sorrow from Naruto. I'm so glad. Can, can you can you recite it? Can you whistle it? I thought that you were gonna say hot. I'm not gonna re- whistle it. That is bad content. That's Talk bad content, Jose. As a content, content, content creator, I expected better from you. <laughs> uh, okay, let, let's go over the stuff. Uh, da, da, da. Guardians of the Galaxy. It's made by the Deus Ex team, which previously, I believe their last game they did was uh, the last Tomb Raider entry, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Oh, okay. um, it's a third-person action adventure. It looks like you only play as Star-Lord. Uh, everyone else in the crew is just kind of like in your party there, and um, NPCs whatnot. Um, I, I, as, as a side note, it doesn't really have much. I guess it, it does have a lot to do with this game. It's amazing how James Gunn's uh, take on the Guardians of the Galaxy, like that, is the the entirety of the public's perception of Guardians of the Galaxy. Like, no <laughs> no one gave a flying fuck about the like. Obviously, mm-hmm. comics and whatnot, but like, if we're talking like cultural osmosis and whatnot, 
nobody gave a fuck about gardens because they didn't know who they were and like this is just like the defining take on them mm-hmm. at this point which is which yeah. is really interesting because it seems that they have the writer of one of the best guardians like comic lines helping them with the story of this game like i think his name is dan dan abnett or dan abbott they have him helping with the story and he basically rebooted the guardians in the mid two thousands like he was like He's the, he's like one of the main comic writers that brought the Guardians back out of obscurity. Like that was that was him. Like Gunn based a lot of the stuff off of Dan a- a- Abbott's Guardians run. Mm-hmm. So the fact that they have him helping with the story is incredibly interesting too. Like they're um, they're going deep. <laughs> what, what, one other interesting thing for me, and like this is a this is a problem that. Um, Square Enix's Avengers suffered from they can't use the actors' faces from uh, from the M- the MCU equivalents, so you're always going to have that in the back of your head, just like that. Just does not look right. It looks off. It looks I like know. a freaking store like brand of uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. I think this version of him looks really fucking great. I didn't have that problem with this. Like I had that yeah, problem with Marvel's Avengers either. because it seemed like they were trying really hard to be like the the the. The flea market like bootleg versions of the of the main Avengers. With this, it feels like they went instead went like, okay, so we're just going to do the general look of like how these you expect these characters to look. But I don't know if they interpreted them based on versions of the comic. I don't know if they just went crazy with it, but it, it doesn't. I'm not thinking in the back of my head. Oh, that's just not Chris Pratt. I literally go like, this looks like a different take, and I'm enjoying mm-hmm. it. Surprised at how much this looks like a game I want to play despite how critical I have been over like Marvel's Avengers and a lot of Marvel content these days in general. I don't want it to be a destiny clone. Please fucking no. I don't think it's going to be. No, the the fact they stress that I'm sorry, Sarah, do you mind if I say it? Yeah, go ahead, please. They stressed that like, this is a third person action, single player experience. They like went almost went out of their way to Mm -hmm. say, this is not a multiplayer co-op game. This is a single, you play it. It's must said five times you play a star Lord. You only play as star Lord. Mm -hmm. I like, while it would be nice to play as the other characters, I, it's interesting to see that commitment of like we're going hard into single player and we're making this like a a fully fleshed out single player experience. First and foremost, Mm -hmm. very happy. I like that. I like that you have full control over like Star Lord reacting to certain things. Like I yeah. love that. I I saw this, and my excitement wasn't really evident at first because I was pissed that Square just didn't give me anything Kingdom Hearts, but well, well, whatever I guess. But like it, it's the Guardians game that I never knew I wanted. Yeah, it's everything in a Guardians of the Galaxy game that I never knew I wanted, but now I'm getting it. Like, the choices it, it, are so simple too, but it's like yeah. Do you throw rocket or do you not throw rocket? But it works. <laughs> like mm-hmm. I love it. It's it looks so much fun, and it also like because Guardians of the Galaxy was the first Marvel comic that I really got into even before the movie came came out, and the fact they have a writer like Dan Abbott who dug into Marvel's like obscure character line, helping them with this, and like Idos being like hinting at the fact that they dug deep too. I am so excited, so excited to see, like, who could show up in this. If, like, Marvel gave Howard. them, like, a... Huh? Howard the Duck. That's all I want. Oh, I want my Howard God. The Duck cameo in a, in I mean, he could. I almost... I when, when the planet started moving in the demo, I was just like, are they gonna fucking just have Ego be there for no fucking reason? Like, it's just, like, I'm... It's... It looks so good, and I can't get over just how better than the Avengers this looks. Like it, almost like it feels like the game that the game Avengers, was supposed to be before they changed and, like, it into a looter shooter. And like tugged at their collar a bit and was like, "Oh, we can't do that." Like and they were yeah. like, "Oh no, <laughs> oh no," and it looks like they didn't they didn't do that. And I was seeing online that a bunch of people are really sad that they're not doing a De- uh, Deus Ex like Human Revolution three. But I almost feel like that could happen once Guardians is done. Like they're like, all right, Guardians is done. We're gonna do that third day, that third day, day's X game that we forgot about. <laughs> I, th- I think to be fair to to that community, they've what when they got shoved onto making the third um, Tomb Raider game. Like I think a lot of people just had their expectations that they were gonna immediately go back to Deus Ex. And as much as I love those. Um, the the two latest uh, Deus Ex games are like beautifully fucking designed on every conceivable front. Um, they don't 
I want to say they didn't sell well, but then again, no, Square Enix, they, Square Enix went through a very yeah. big period of just like, if you don't sell fucking 15 million units in the first week, you're a fucking failure. So I, I don't know. Yeah, Square, that's why Tomb Raider, that's Tomb Raider mm-hmm. never does well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they that was the big downfall. Fucked. Was yeah, that a lot of people the, loved the, the, the ASX? Like I loved those games, but they didn't sell because no one, sadly, a lot of people didn't play the original days. I didn't ask for this, but I mean, it looks really cool, and also it's just using licensed music in like the combat, which is which is so fun. All right, like, we gotta I'm, we gotta move on. Uh. What, let's talk about what is this? Is it, Str- Stranger is it, Paradise, a Final Fantasy yeah, is Origin. Yeah, it's Blade and Mai's time. Uh, so it's made by uh, the Ninja Gaiden team, uh, Team Ninja. It's out 2022. PS5 demo out today. Um, definitely more in the vein of like an action brawler. I it's, put it's, asterisk it's, it, on that. <laughs> asterisk. <laughs> Apparently, the, the new downloads having similar problems. Oops. But, oh, um, is, but, oh yeah. God. Yeah. Looks looks more in the line of like an action. Uh, or whatnot it's, it's not as chaotic or it doesn't look like necessarily as in-depth it's like a devil may cry maybe more so is like uh early god of war those, those uh, first it's three first looking four almost like neo to me like how neo looks like i don't know if i would say that it, it, de- it definitely has like those old school like god of war finishers not not like a glory kill from like doom but like you you downed an enemy let's go up to them and maybe not necessarily do a quick Stomp time event but it's 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 like god of war finisher Look, I already made the joke on Twitter where I called it Dirge of Devil May Cry, so oh I'm going to look like God. a fucking idiot if that game doesn't actually play like Devil May Cry. And then it was revealed that that the director of Dirge of Cerberus is doing it. It's oh, like, no. I knew that before go. I made the joke. Oh, no. <laughs> Let's go. I'm not, that, I'm not that psychic. The combat actually looks... You are pretty... May, maybe it's just the character they are like predominantly showing, you know, like big, heavy, two-handed swords or whatnot, but that combat looks really freaking slow. I will let you know when we're allowed to play it. And it also, looks- Nomura ass looking characters. Like, the dude's still kicking at like 55. He's, I, like, he's like, you asked, I created. That dude does not have many, neither of those dudes have have many uh, belts and zippers. I think, I think, I think the pink haired dude had a bunch of belts. If <laughs> I remember correctly. I'd have to look. It's, cause like I brought this up earlier, cause again, me with the worst opinions and ex. Distance. I'm a I'm fan when that. Final Fantasy uses like non Final Fantasy looking characters. Like I just I love to see the contrast between like the high fantasy and like the look of the Final Fantasy 15 slash the Kings Kings char- characters. Mm. Like I just I I like that a lot. And it seems like the more is still Dreams. pushing that train. And yeah. I'm like fuck yeah, let's go, man in a T-shirt who looks like Cole from Infamous. Let's go and dude with random pink hair who's honestly the comic relief. Like, we know he's the comic relief because his hair is pink. But everyone else looks, like, so, normal. It's, it's such a weird take, like, like the origin part of it, where it it's... It, is it like they're interfering with the plot of Final Fantasy 1? They have Garland in there? Yeah. It's, okay, so let me let me step in because I've yeah, played too like, many of these fucking games. Um, Final Fantasy 1 has no story aside from you are chosen warriors, go defeat evil, up until like literally the last of bit of the game where it's like, oh, there's weird time travel shit in order to actually kill the great evil. You have to travel back in time and kill chaos. And Garland, like, but also Garland becomes chaos or is a reincarnation of chaos it's weird but that's where all that shit comes from in this trailer for this so my guess is the fact they keep saying that it's like a prequel to final fantasy one or something like that is that you're playing as i guess the hero because sarah in private brought up to me like i think they're gonna beat this and then you're gonna find out that like your main character becomes uh chaos or something in like the and final i actually fantasy have one like- actual like receipts for that because the main art that they're using for it shows the main dude which his name is jack by the way god i love of course it is i don't know what namor is doing it's great um it shows him and like half of his face is covered in like darkness and one of his eyes is like glowing like gold we'll see a weird feeling that it's gonna end with like nope you're chaos well, this is the thing I'm wondering is that if they're going to do some weird thing where it's not that he is he becomes chaos, it's that through the events of him trying to kill chaos, he unwittingly starts the sequence of events that has chaos existing in the past, and then you know the the warriors of light in Final Fantasy One story then have to go deal with the problem that they created. That's what I think is going to happen. Quick segue, uh, like semi unrelated. 
Uh, Final Fantasy VII Intergrade Intermissions DLC with Yuffie. I, I totally forgot to point this out. I was right again, Sarah. No Vincent. Please don't remind me. I still got my I... those people. Nomura still hasn't forgotten about that. Bless him. Also, I didn't realize, I thought he was just the character designer in this game. He's the creative producer. This dude has weight in this title. Like, Makes sense. I was like, right. Like, like, that's why I'm, I'm, I'm looking for some crazy shit to happen. Because if Nomura has any kind of weight, you know some crazy shit's gonna happen. That's why I'm like, Jack's gonna end up being chaos. Like, I'm just gonna call it now, the game, at, and if the game's gonna, gonna happen, some weird time, time travel shit's gonna go down. Jack's gonna somehow become, like, chaos. Like, it's, it's gonna be a tie into Final Fantasy VII remake, and Jack is like the ver- is actually is, is like chaos, and he's gonna infect Vincent in and it's the remake. Somehow turned into Kingdom Hearts. We just know this. Oh, well, God. Final Fantasy VII yeah. remake is already Kingdom Hearts. The moment they said we're doing Integrate and that's the upgrade, and it's sixty dollars or seventy dollars or whatever, we knew that fucking ship had sailed. It is the new Kingdom Hearts. Run while but, you like, can, also, CJ. I know. Uh, um, oh, uh, blank it. Hold on. Use a signal. Um, use a signal. <laughs> No, hold on. Uh, you all got 51 um, Clubhouse games downloaded? Let her, let her think. Never. Let her think. Hold on. Um, I was right. I'm sorry, let her I'm think. blanking. Someone, someone from SCGC, I feel really bad. Finn! Finn pointed out how beautiful the like title art of that game is. Final Fantasy, no matter how bad the Final Fantasy game is, the title, like, like, like the art behind the title is always going to be fucking gorgeous. When you get Yoshitaka Amano to do the title art for every single game of your series, yeah, it's always going to look good, even like, if the game is shit. Badass. It makes the weirdest fuck title seem awesome. The weird, like, Strangers in Paradise. That's the power of Amano. It's why he's been like, with the company for so fucking, like, cool. 30 years or 40 and years or whatever. Like, again, I'm the queen of the worst opinions. I'm actually really excited for this. Like, I'm not into the soul style. This is what I think it looks fun. Style. It looks really cool. And I'm again, just petty I, because I think it looks dumb that they have these, like, because oh, someone's pointed out it might even be an isekai because there's art of the characters in, like, modern day clothing. So, like, I'm interested to see how wild it gets. I just think that the design of the main character is bland, not because of that. Oh, yeah. Aspect. No, it's just it is. I, I'm just, I, I love the use of, like, modern day outfits in, like, a Final Fantasy setting. Like, the whole, like, high fantasy around it where you just have a dude in, like, a t-shirt wielding, like, yeah. a giant ass sword. Like, I'm such a sucker for that shit. And it's like the fact that Nomura's still on that train. I'm like, fuck, man. Like, I'm just, I'm, I'm down for this. It looks very cool. I like when Final Fantasy's weird, and this looks like Final Fantasy's going to get weird. Oh, yeah. Jose, what was the next topic? Last topic, also. Oh, and then we it, can relinquish CJ to to go. Uh, no, it's like, what is it? I never hear about Final Fantasy being on SDGC. I never hear. Oh, this yeah. is an interesting thing. Wow, I've you, wow. there's some really passionate people. If the world. next topic what, is what, what I think what, it is, I'm what, gonna have to comment the other show from you, Jose. What, what what even is a Final Fantasy yeah, six? Yeah, I've never, I mean, never heard of it. If, if, if it was worth anything, it would have been remade by this point. Yeah, are we, we, are we gonna remake? That, are we getting into that topic, Jose? Yeah. Are we getting okay? So I'm stealing the show away from Jose now. This is now the the Blaine Clutchko podcast. Um, go Blaine, go. So, so I, I I I watched this happen, and I felt myself get more and more excited. Oh my god, it's real! Oh my god, it's true! Oh my god, they actually are making it, and that wasn't just some weird bullshit. Like every like every other time, I see people on the internet talking about shit, and I see oh yeah, the Final Fantasy like one through six is is pixel remake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only on Steam and mobile. And by the way, some some clips were showing look like they're from the mobile ports. And I just felt all my... I've never felt myself lose every bit of excitement I had been building for like months, if not a year, since I predicted that they were going to make this kind of a collection. Fall out from the bottom of my stomach. I felt like every... I felt like everything I had known to be true and good in the world had become terrible. And then I also, then I dialed myself back for a second and I actually stopped being an idiot and looked at what everyone was talking about with the thing and realized um, there's issues with this. There's a lot of issues to be said about this collection because it's not even really a collection. It is going to be released separately because Square Enix just, they, again, they, they're they now addicted to the Kingdom Hearts method of make as much as you can and price it as high as you can so you can make as much money as you can. I fully expect people, I said this on Twitter half as a joke, but also half realizing that this is probably going to come true. They're going to fucking release these games for probably $20 to $30 a pop on Steam and mobile 
and um, have maybe a bundle of them for like sixty or seventy dollars when these games should be all together for like forty bucks at most. Um, when I was complaining about the fact, oh, it's only Steam and mobile, and the ports are probably not going to look that good or whatever, I did some more looking into it. I think. And and if I if I hit a point where someone wants to chime in, please let me know. I don't mean to overtake the entire show literally, but um, uh, looking at the comparison of sprites and whatnot, it seems like what they want to do is they just want to do a streamlined look that is better, going to look better on HD TVs and not have to people essentially go, do I do pixel perfect and do I risk like if I have a flashing effect destroying my TV? Literally, the last time I played Final Fantasy IV, I thought I broke my fucking TV screen because I had a permanent blink effect of a character's art flashing and it wouldn't go away for like a day and a half. Um, it looks like they want to instead have like a a a, a better a pixel style that's going to up-res better and look more akin to what the original sprites looked like. Um, Mr. Domino Donnie on Twitter made a really good point that this if no, that this might this there have been times in the past where something that was originally n- announced by Square to be like an X exclusive or just they didn't like by truth by uh, lying by omission they don't say that it's coming out another thing Final Fantasy 7 remake I think was originally they didn't say anything and then at the very very end it was like exclusive to PS4 until X but they didn't say it was coming to Xbox or whatever Octo- I feel like we're... Octopath Traveler too we all Octopath Traveler, Traveler for the longest time yeah dropped on Game Pass yeah yeah yeah, yeah. with no warning or anything yeah um, nothing so it I based on what my conversation with him, it is possible that they could announce either at Nintendo Showcase on Tuesday or on a completely different date. Like, oh, by the way, it is coming. Maybe they want to wait uh, till Nintendo's is tomorrow. Done. I know Nintendo's is. Oh, oh, tomorrow's. I thought it was Tuesday. I thought it was Tuesday. I thought well, it was Tuesday. Yeah, it's tomorrow because it's already Monday. Yeah, like I mean, you're <laughs> right, Sarah. It is tomorrow, <laughs> but for me and CJ, it's already Monday. That's true. I'm, oh man, time I'm is not meaningless. In, in the day, yeah, but no, it's not, um, it's not 2021. It's it's 2020 part two. I almost my so like I still stand by me going Square Enix. What the fuck? Because literally, I almost feel like you should have just not announced this if you weren't ready to actually show like more screenshots and more like this is what it is. This is what's going to be. This is what it's going to be on. How much is not necessarily even how much it's going to cost, but or 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 if you're going to not do that, just say like. Do the way I thought it was at first. Don't flash a whole bunch of things. Just say Final Fantasy 1 through 6 collection coming at some point and be done. I half expected it to be like it's on eShop now. I got my hopes up really high for this one. And I learned the hard way you cannot trust Square Enix on anything. Uh, uh, I, for, from my perspective, yeah. I guess like I'm not necessarily invested in the first six Final Fantasy games. I, I literally came on with 7, played 9, 10... Um, and kind of, kind of went on from there. I, I understand that these games are incredibly important to certain people. Uh, mutuals, I think, like all of us except for Mesa, are that talk to and whatnot. Um, I, I, it just doesn't make sense to me, like why these aren't at least coming to console. Like you, you they're on Steam, they're on PC. Yeah. It just, it, it does not make any logical sense to me. Uh, but that aside, like at the end of the day. Um, if, if these are just like bad ports, like I know people are like going over the pixels and whatnot. I don't know if, if I would necessarily describe those as nitpicky or whatever. It is. Um, the pixels look fine for what it is. Mm-hmm, and I'm just yeah. glad that we're even getting these games on a modern thing. That's not Honestly, the better than expected. Mobile ports. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm I, 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 what it is better than expected. I, I think at the end of the day, the worst possible thing that could be said about this is, is is that maybe it's a subpar port, but it's not like they're stripping things away that, that like already exists, like the previous versions or whatnot. It, it like the, the biggest migraine from this is literally why it's not on console. Yeah, it just, just and, make and sense. the fact that they're selling it separately. I'm sorry, I'll I'll keep saying I, it's easy money. Yes, I guess that is the logical literal reason they're doing it, but like it should not be sold separately. It should just be 30 or 40 bucks for all of them. These games are fucking 30 to 40 years old. However, whatever. They, like, these are games that are not, while they are a time investment, like, Final Fantasy 1, sorry, Final Fantasy 2 fucking sucks. Final Fantasy 3 fucking sucks. I know people love that game. I love the job system. Final Fantasy 3 fucking sucks. Um, Final Fantasy 1 is fine, but it's very basic. It's really, really, really basic. I only love it really because of the fact that it's essentially the job system before job system existed. Um, Final Fantasy 5 is just 
kind of a more basic version of Final Fantasy IV, but it has the job system, so I ha- I'm required to say that I love it. It's one of my favorite Final Fantasies. Um, people, people deserve to be disappointed, but I also feel like, again, like my reaction initially was way overboard. I think we need to be thankful these are coming out, but also we need to be like going. It's weird that we, this is pro- almost assuredly has to come to consoles at some point, and the fact that they're just not saying it. It's so weird to say outright, like at the front of the gate, oh, it's Steam and mobile, knowing also, that already that's going to piss people off. Or even just at also, the end of the day, the people that really have... love the, the people that really love Final Fantasy VI already have access to it. I mean, also, if, if, like, like the big, the biggest aspect of it is like if, for the the point of having these newer versions out and being accessible to people, it would it would be to bring new people in. The people that adore six already have it and have places to play it. Um, I'll, uh, Sarah, don't forget what you want to say because I'm going to go to you after this. I would honestly mm-hmm. disagree with you because I have wanted to play that game for so long. I do love that game, but I've never really been in a place. I used I owned it on the uh, the ps1 originally and the bat port has issues and a bad translation i played it on game boy and i never game Boy advance i never finished it and i was going to replay it on that but then i found out no there's a better like hot rom hack you can get and you can just get it on a cartridge so you don't have to go through the emulation shenanigans i got that then i i started playing that and kept having trouble getting into it because i'm on a old shitty gba sp that has brightness issues and all these other things I then and I can't plug headphones into it. I then find out this is coming out for sure, so I'm like, let me wait for this announcement and I won't play it again. And like for me at this point, I'm either gonna have to, you know, I would have to download the ROM hack and just finally do that, or I'm waiting for this to come out. So like this would have been a me going, like, yes, I'm gonna buy this and I'm gonna be able to experience this game and like really dig into it for the first time. And mm-hmm. that's coming from someone who has had this experience. Uh, Sarah, what were you gonna say? I just think we should also point out that and of course, like obviously, people know this, but all of us here truly believe. And yes, you can be disappointed in something. The whole Platinum Games thing for me was definitely a, dis- a disappointment. But please don't go attacking studios and developers, please. Like just because uh, I've I seen a lot of people attacking Platinum Games, and like, like about like attacking developers. And I know people are saying this about the Final Fantasy games too. Like, please do not attack individual developers on Twitter. Please don't attack, like, mm-hmm. PR people. Please don't attack, like, like, uh, uh, social people. Like, yeah, you could be it's, disappointed. It's not their fault. Don't yeah, go to the Square not- Enix. I mean, it, uh, as much as I love, um, some people, I don't want to name names, but, like, don't go to the Square Enix, uh, d- don't go to main accounts and just be like, what the fuck is wrong? Yeah, don't, don't be- do not attack people. Being dis- Being disappointed is a valid thing, and it sucks. Please don't go attacking me. Yeah. Please don't. That shit is not okay. Mm-mm. Like, we're, like all of us were disappointed about something in the square. Just don't go I'm, attacking people. I'm, I'm also, sure I saw what you posted, Jose, and yeah. I <laughs> put a smile on my face. Yeah, check his Twitter, oh. Sarah. <laughs> people should always check my Twitter. That shit's fire. Oh um, yeah. Uh... <laughs> fucking Mesa. Um, I'm I'm sure everything about this this entire situation with a port would have been. Easily remedied if they just put a wiener dog in there named Chorizo. It would have blown over. Absolutely. <laughs> That's or right. or a gun that shoots CDs that have the Macarena on them. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Well, I forgot about I forgot that. About that. <laughs> That's the only fucking Spanish song that white people know that isn't fucking Despacito. Are you fucking kidding with the Macarena? Wait, oh hold on. God, are, you, are, you forgetting, are you forgetting the classic... Um, Oh god, what was it called? I say something like really like patronizing. No, I'm not, <laughs> no, I'm not gonna say anything patronizing. It was a, I think it was a Ricky Martin song. Oh, was, be, live in the, yeah, live in La Vida Loca. It was, uh, living, what's, what's the one getting naked and go dancing in the rain? That's live in La Vida Loca. Yeah, that is live in La Vida Loca. Okay, uh, and they're yeah. I fucking hate white people so much. I know, right? There's a lot to hate. Hashtag I don't like same. Yeah, I know. I know well, the feeling very yeah, very well. Based. Am I right? Mm-hmm. You don't. Know, you don't channel it very much, Mesa, but when you do, oh, you have when 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 I look at a song that I've heard as a child, and all the comments are at least these white teenagers talking about smoking weed. It doesn't it doesn't help. Uh, <laughs> I get angry. <laughs> Welcome to the after show hour. The today's topic. Uh, yes, white white people. What to do with them? 
What? The curb your white people. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Anyway, that's been the show. That's bom, basically bom, everything. Thanks for hanging out on the show. For everyone watching, everyone who's actually on the show also. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Mesa. Thank you, Blaine. Mm. And thank you, super duper special guest who is always welcome on here at any given point in time. Uh, it, it's probably my favorite episode we've ever done, CJ. No, I don't say that. Come on. It, it is. <laughs> I, I'm going to give you compliments till you blush. I appreciate that, Jose. I'm, I'm I'm happy. I'm glad I met. I'm glad I met. Um, you know, all of you. Um, yeah. this is a good time. This is this is a very my, good time. My first podcast in a while. Um, I appreciate it. This is nice. This is this was yeah. this is fun. It, it's always good to be with a fellow Halo Five appreciator. It, it, we got to stick up for each other. We do. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the ethnic background stuff. Like, forget that. That that's unimportant. We Halo Five appreciators are truly like the most oppressed my... class in all society. <laughs> Goes above my heritage. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, but yeah, thank you for everyone for watching. Everyone's socials are on screen. Um, yeah, thanks for hanging out. Next stream will be tomorrow, 5 p.m. PST. Going to be playing some more Ratchet and Clank. That'll be fun. Yep. Uh, adios. Bye bye. Uh, loco. Uh, Poyo. Um, what else does Vegas God. say? Look, Poyo, what is he? Pendejo. Too. Yes. My favorite yeah. word. Cabron. Oh man. <laughs> oh, that's that's you know, the you know what it was? You know you know what this that that was for me? Oh no. Uh it was uh Luke Cage season two. Oh, no. oh it was I'm so bad. I didn't oh, watch it. It was so bad. <laughs> Some of the worst Jamaican accents I have ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's the show, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs> uh